The. Uh, uh, good job. Uh, oh, God. Is this a competition? Of uh, what? The burps? You want? Burpees? The, the burp. I can go that beyond the oh, regular dude, burp. burpees are hard, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I find them fun. They no, are, but, like, they're really fun. But after they're better than push-ups. Try with push-ups. It's not fun anymore. Dude, no, I agree with Rafi. Just you normal push-ups kind of suck. suck. Burpees are more exciting, yeah. but a few burpees will kill me. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's why it's exciting. <laughs> That's not funny. It's fun. You can so die. Fun. Dude. Burpees are for real, man. Mm. They I like, mean, not only is it a push up, it's also a jump. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like that. No, it's not even a push up. That's that's like a modifier. You burp oh. me, it's like you just have to plank. And then you go back to. Oh, the really? Spot. Yeah, you're doing Somebody burp push up. The, it's, then it's <laughs> oh just your God. legs. Though. Really? You've Somebody been doing it the wrong the whole time. Somebody has to do the push up. No, me it's too. just a modifier. Have I been doing burpees wrong? You're doing it better. Very better. Fuck. You're doing it better. Hell yeah! I Hell. Is that push why the burpees have been killing me? Yeah. Oh. You've been optimizing yourself, <laughs> sir. <Aww. laughs> Welcome to episode 9 of Good Trades, everyone. Really? I'm Amir. <laughs> we need to open with you saying that burpees will kill you. Fuck, okay. <laughs> or like burpees are real. Yeah, man. Welcome to episode 9, everyone. My name is Emil. I'm Rafi. My name is Miguel. <laughs> God, I just <laughs> really ruined weird. the cadence of that one. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something else. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm the other Miguel. Yo, Boy. and this is episode nine of Good Trades, where we all take damage. Oh um, man! Right oh, now. So who wants just to like right now? Throw the per- first punch. Yeah, man. Uh, I've gotten the burpees out of me. Yeah, yeah. How did you? Who, who actually told you? How to Charlie. Do you? Charlie told me. <laughs> Charlie from oh, Quantum Blade. Okay. Oh, Charles. Yeah, we were like. Thank you, Charles. No, he was like. I'm going to teach you an exercise it's called a burpee. And then he made me do the push-up and shit. And then later, he does something called Goku exercises. Oh, God. Oh, what? And then, like, that's just... You know that thing Goku does when, like, he, he, he kind of squats... Gravity. No, he kind of squats on the floor with one leg, like, stretching. That's or right. stretches legs all the time. That's not yeah. interesting. Yeah, that one? That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, true. like, try doing it, like, in reps and shit. It hurts. Huh. Not Eventually. really. No, 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 no. Just try it, like, 20 you I want us to the exercise right, right now? Right now. Not right okay. now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Ah, no. I see. Bounce I see. for a while. Three bounces. One, oh, two, yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see it. I can see it. And do it. Yeah, I can yeah, hear yeah. things. Yeah. I can hear things. Some too. clicks For the audio happening. listener, um, Nix is testing it. Mr. Miguel Sampson is doing the Goku exercises. He's doing the it's Goku warm-up before a fight. Really? It's dynamic it's stretch. stretching. Yeah. 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 Or it's like half a squat. It's, it's for it's, surely dynamic stretching, but like it hurts after a while. It's, it's a warm-up. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, but yeah, it's basically a warm-up too, kind of. Mm. Welcome Eat your your well joints. Welcome to exercise trades, everyone. Oh god, <laughs> the gym trades. How's, how's everyone's exercises been, Rafi? Are you been following oh, along go- at home? <laughs> are we going? <laughs> Hip hop key. Let's go to warm. One, two, three, four. <laughs> exercise. And now your glutes. Your glutes. <laughs> oh, man. oh man, wouldn't this be the perfect gym listen? Is it like mm, each right. cheek will start moving? Each so I do. Are we gonna, tra- the- are we gonna transition <laughs> from good trades to gym? <laughs> gym <laughs> trades, man. Good gains, bro. Good oh, gains. Mm. I like, I like that. Trade gains, dude. Gain are we gonna trade. corner the market in like exercise podcasts? <laughs> we, hey, we better get that C four sponsorship, dude. The C four sponsorship, Ooh, please. That's important. <laughs> yes, please. For anyone who listened to last week's podcast, we have to like remind everyone of <laughs> we have to say and, 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 and we have to say listen to, to the, the last truth. episode yeah listen to the last episode <laughs> try to tell the truth <laughs> dude <laughs> what? making it's stuff but up but it's funnier if I lie <laughs> I could have sworn. I could have sworn you got it from a dealer. No, from that's outside. Your, no, that's your okay. joke. Okay, <laughs> but he life. did get it from a guy outside yeah. the shop. No, we didn't. <laughs> he, w- wait, 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 Miguel. In, Miguel, was he standing outside no, the shop? No, he's like, standing behind the counter. Behind the oh, counter. So yeah. Was he made, wearing an ID or a shirt of some yeah, kind? That's why we. He, uh, that's why we know his okay. name. Was he wearing a trench coat? No. Was he? <laughs> what was there? A guy like duct taped up 
on the floor. In the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Next to him. Dude, with his size, he could have been. Was dead. the guy who sold you the C4 bald and have a barcode behind his head? Uh, he's bald. Fuck. That all, <laughs> no. He's bald. He's bald. <laughs> But he doesn't like that hitman reference. Oh, man. So, like, (laughs) when was the last time you hit the C4, my man? No, (laughs) dude, that's the last time. Really? I thought you bought it. I I thought you bought some. No, I didn't didn't buy C4. I bought whey protein. Oh. That's that's different. Because you kept saying, I got the the stuff, man. (laughs) (laughs) I got it. I got paid. Syringes and everything. I I did did say I got paid. but man. Like, me and and Thirsty Bird, uh, my, my gym buddy, we, mm-hmm. we, we we tried to think about if we're gonna you know buy buy the the actual stuff. Uh huh. Yeah. But um, we decided not to at the moment. Yeah. Because um, for some reason your bodies are recovering. No, no, no. For for some reason, Bert shifted from weightlifting workouts to oh calisthenics. Mm-hmm. Whoa, calisthenics. whoa, whoa! Oh, Which yeah, is yeah. kind of surprising because I know some Bert, high intensity shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. Bert hates cardio. Really? Mm. Like he's he's the guy. Who just the calisthenics um, is just like like strength stuff you do often enough to turn into cardio, right? Yeah, that's the thing that yeah. he hates the most. Oh, that's weird. Why because would he do that? so he, he wants down on it. He he wants <laughs> um he wants exercises that really builds up strength mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. makes him big. Yeah, but he doesn't want anything that's um above the ten rep um like requirement because that. For him, above 10 reps is already cardio for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is something he hates. I understand that. <laughs> so, I don't know why. But because parang I, yung, yung mm. mindset niya is, if it's above 10 reps, you're not getting bigger. You're just mm. having cardio or something. You're, like you're improving huh. your cardiovascular <laughs> yeah. health? It's, I don't know. Like, it's all, like, hmm, how, how can I describe Bert? I think I described it earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's yeah. a thirsty man. He, he hates mm. cardio because it doesn't make him, like, like it doesn't na- make it, it doesn't give the gains. Yeah, like naturally, mm. Bert is a th- is a thin, lanky dude. Mm-hmm. Before he that's when I met out. him. When I met him, he was kind of thin and lanky, wasn't no, it? Same here. That was kind of um, that was already the beginning of the muscle. Yeah. Oh, that was already huh. in the middle. Like, okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, like before, um, he's st- like after he stopped a bit mm-hmm. on that one. But uh, yeah, um, he he's naturally thin, so when he tries to you know to have gains, like mm. he avoids cardio. Okay. Um, entirely, and this is really weird because um, before he he used to run marathons, okay, and fun runs, and he's really good about on on, on cardio stuff. Mm-hmm. So now he now when he <laughs> did tried, it scorn him? <laughs> like, he, uh, <laughs> Was a there way, a massive tragedy with you know, cardio? <laughs> because I don't know. Did the cardio stab just, him in the back somehow? <laughs> maybe it's because he's not gaining any weight or mass Dude. because of it. Uh, he wants like happen. the physical. Yeah, he needs to like, like Hulk up or something. Right. It's not like any form he of wants body a visual dysmorphia, change. is it? No, 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 no. no, no it's not. Okay, okay, okay. And That's... now it's it's really funny because now that he tries <laughs> cardio, he's really sh- <laughs> he's she shitty at it. Oh, oh dude. dude, is he not big enough? He's not oh, big that's enough. Good. <laughs> Does he have like an adverse reaction to people doing cardio in front of him? Yeah, like oh, Aris with numbers. <laughs> oh man, Is it cardio for Aris? Or like if you if you start jogging in front of Thirsty Bird, does he like convulse? <laughs> does he have like a PTSD attack or no, like a tra- no, God, the cardio? Not again. <laughs> oh it's man. After me. But yeah, he's um, on a huge quest. Wait, what are we talking about again? Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're talking about Thirsty Bird's cardio. No, because no, before that, no, before that, just gym. Sh- yeah, just okay. just we were talking about stuff. general health wow, and gym it's, stuff. It's yeah, dude, gym exercise cast. cast. Yeah. But yeah, Our we dream. <laughs> <laughs> too much gaining. Too much gaining. Too much gaining. <laughs> dude, <laughs> the show we always wanted to dude, make. The yeah. only reason we're we're super on the exercise shit is because of your shilling for C four last week. Might I remind you, <laughs> you're the one who was super hype right. about C4. So if you want an update on that one. So we were Strap like up, working boys. out without the, w- without the shit. Without the juice. Yeah, without the juice. Mm-hmm. Without the Bruce juice. And uh, it's, uh, well, it in, in a way, it's the same. Like, um, we kind of gained something out of it. Mm-hmm. Like like the, the weight of what we're like... Um, exercising with mm-hmm. it has increased and nice. kind of stayed that way like without the juice yeah without the juice okay that's, that's good. good that's good yeah so we've been maintaining like i've been maintaining my uh my pr that's good to hear uh, personal record <laughs> and um yeah and ever since that 
we now know how how C four works, how how you get <laughs> how, how the you, juice attacks your yeah, systems, how, and how you get the the absolute focus mm-hmm. and the absolute energy. The C four give you ultra instinct energy. So basically, what I'm doing now is before working out, I just took a cup of coffee. Oh, so like thirty minutes coffee. before workout, and that kind of makes it um, a bit of like a substitute. You know, speaking of like supplements and juice, yeah, like <laughs> what kind of juice? <laughs> like I fell into a weird YouTube uh, gross rabbit hole. Oh no, oh, no, no, no really? what is it this after, time? Like, after the podcast? No, no, week? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, did like, I just influence you? Dude, I, I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> it, it wasn't me. It was just in my recommends, and oh, like, wow, I am YouTube <laughs> algorithms, dude. So, so I guess that's me because YouTube al- algorithms just recommend you shit you might like yeah, right you right. don't even know you know it yet. whatever yeah. you searched last yeah 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 oh my God. and for some reason it C4? no it it recommended um um <laughs> some weird shit to me about like people who who inject oil into their arms what what like <laughs> dude it's the weirdest thing it's huh. like this weird picture pops up and this motherfucker looks like popeye like dude, like it's oh, a fucking dude, i've picture seen those yeah. right right jesus are you talking what? about synthol yeah 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 synthol oh, that, that, that is really that is what? the worst okay so basically I this, yes okay um, explain what synthol is i'm not really sure I'm, i mean i'm even talking about bro science here okay bro like, science but, bro science, but bro. basically synthol is just um, it's seventy five percent oil, like seventy five percent canola oil or something. Not really, man. I mean, <laughs> it, dude, it's, it's it's a substance that mm-hmm. um, gives you mass, um, immediate like, mass. Huh, how do mass. you um, how how do you describe items in a video game that only gives you <laughs> aesthetic, aesthetic aesthetic properties, yeah. like what cosmetic? Is, all right, uh, it's basically cosmetic. Is it um, Botox, but for your stuff. arms? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. That it's, basically, like it's, it's basically... So basically you, and it's the same thing, because Botox is technically a poison, yeah. and this one is also technically a yeah. poison, but worse than Botox even. So, so basically inject it into your biceps or anything that you want to bulk up. And it will, and it, will immediately, it immediately bulk, bulk up. up. Yeah. Like, huh. it, it, like, and since the weird mixture of 75% oil, 25% other random stuff <laughs> what? yeah 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 what? like i, I have yeah. no idea basically that mixture sti- simulates the consistency of muscle ah. yeah. so when you touch it it feels like a flexed muscle mm-hmm. like huh. but it's, it's not but it's not and yeah. it's the weirdest thing because like youtube recommended to me like my weird addiction shit oh of, my like, god that's like, really oh, dangerous. And, and it's basically a guy who's like has fucking balloon Popeye arms, yeah. and he thinks it's the best looking thing ever. No, it and isn't. everyone's like, uh-huh. "Dude, nah, okay. <laughs> dude, okay. you look like fucking Popeye." Let, let me tell you a story because synthol is right. really dangerous. That there's news of this one guy who took synthol, um, not uh, pro- like improperly. Because if you're gonna, take how synthol, do you take synthol properly? You have to um, inject it. I think I believe you have to inject it um, just like under the skin not into like, your veins or anything um, right but balanced it yung pag inject mo oh, oh, probably in small amounts he did one yeah. arm real good yeah <laughs> and no that's the thing like he he got into it too much na one day, jacked day, one arm no, one day his biceps turned to stone oh <laughs> no, no. That like the- that's metal as <laughs> shit and, holy and shit not, dude I'm not even joking like, oh my god like in synthol it kind of synthesizes his muscles and turns oh into god. actual stone wait no. his muscles like yeah. the consistency so oh jesus he atrophied or what I his muscles just died <laughs> dude Rafi's dying this sounds like but, the most but, bro but, <laughs> urban legend ever <laughs> <laughs> bro <laughs> Dude, and the next thing that happened, his bicep turned to stone. Oh, yeah. It it's was like a, the hardest bicep ever. It sounds like and a superpower. Yeah. Dude, awesome. Dude, awesome. No, no, seriously, like, what, what the doctors did. You rock, kind bro. Of cut off the... <laughs> The muscle that turned t- the stone. They turned oh, off God. the muscle. He had surgery just to dude, remove the oh scar. God. Dude, the video I watched ended with that guy needing to have the synthol drained. And yeah, his English. arm looked like a noodle afterwards. I think the same guy. Yeah. Really? No, yeah. no, no. no. Um, it, it his, got... was just, um, his was just Four one arms. of his... Is this the Middle Eastern guy? No, no, no. Okay, this is some different. pasty white guy. And oh, okay, okay. <laughs> one of his biceps popped. Oh, yeah, one right, of his biceps one. exploded, and he story. had to have it drained. Yeah. And uh, because he had one drain, he had to have the other drain. Mm. It all and, became skin. Yeah, skin and, like and basically, the video I watched is him years after the incident, yeah. and yeah. him talking about how 
how synthol has affected them and stuff like that. But the scary part about it is uh-huh. he he talks about it as if he has not learned his lesson. Yeah. <laughs> like, he could get some hands. No, no, no. He, like he's not doing it anymore. Okay. But the way he talks about it makes it sound like it, it wasn't was a it. wrong thing. Yeah. It, he, like, <laughs> like he, he didn't do it wrong. Yeah. It just so happens that oh, it exploded, so I needed to get rid of it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's, and I'll that's do that's it what again. It like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't was for those meddling kids. <laughs> yeah, boys. Yeah. Yowch. Don't use synthol. But yeah, that was my YouTube rabbit hole. It's weird. The like, how the hell how did you get we... there? Dude, I don't know. Because from Braille it's... skateboarding? What the fuck? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> from Mouse. From Mouse Trap Mouse Mondays. Mouse Mondays. Skateboarding. <laughs> Dude, yeah, synthol. that was my other rabbit hole. Synthol Saturdays. Synthol Saturdays. Synthol Saturdays. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh man. Like, the oh, other god. weird YouTube rabbit hole I fell into was this guy called Strictly Dumpling. Do you guys know him? <laughs> no. <laughs> Is it, are, are these dim sum reviews? No, no. He's he's this Asian American man. He's 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 originally from China, but he immigrated to the States, and he just no. does food videos. Okay. And like, right. I really like usually just like casually enjoy his stuff on the side. Like, I'll I'll play one of his videos, and like he'll be excited about food to one side while I do work on the left. Yeah. Right. Mm. Like I have my iPad playing, but like recently he's been in the Philippines. Whoa. And, like, he's okay. just been, like, eating lechon and stuff like that. And he's... Nice. Just seeing him super happy makes me happy. Aww. And, like, and like he looks like Jackie Chan, so it's super funny. Oh, no. I got no trouble. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want no trouble. No, 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 no. Like, he looks like... Well, like a man. He looks like if Jackie Chan had, like, a son. So... <laughs> Jackie... Okay. Well, I'm sure Jackie, Jackie Chan, Chan has a have son. A son? <laughs> yeah. Does he? Dude, I have no idea. I know but he like, has kids. This guy kind of looks like him, and that's what his fan base says about him. Uh. Like, oh, it's Jackie Chan's son and shit. And I've been watching that. <laughs> do like, a flip. Do a flip. <laughs> hey, Mikey Chan, do a flip. <laughs> Mikey Chan. Mikey Chan. Dude, it's Jonathan Mikey Chan. Chan. Well, that's what I've been up to. What have you guys been up to this week, man? Uh, you want to I mean, that's that? not all I've been up to, but yeah. <laughs> segueing into you know shit we've been doing. What uh, have you guys been up to? It's kind of hard because you're gonna we're gonna segue from Jackie Chan's son. <laughs> Didn't um, you go fishing yesterday reviews. too? Oh yeah. Well, if we're gonna clean out my week, yeah, I, I guess I went fishing. You yesterday. met like yeah, this was expert G oh, rank fisher. Dude. Yeah, dude, G rank fisher. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Rafi wasn't around when I was talking about this, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah um, he isn't um, dead. Basically, I went fishing again yesterday, and I made my own bait. Yeah, right, cool. right. I made three flavors of bait: edible, new for yeah, human beings, corn, peanut butter, which smelled amazing. Like I'm, I wanted ooh, to eat I'm it. I'm actually curious about the peanut butter. Dude, if it's actually, it edible. smelled. <laughs> it smelled like peanut butter cookies. And while me and Donna were making ooh. it, we were just like, "Why does it smell so yeah. good? Did I want to eat it. I want to." Well, did you try eating it? No, no, Jesus Christ, no. But, what, just, but what, basically, what, like mm-hmm. the bait. Like the ingredient for the bait, it's it's just corn super flour. edible stuff yeah. for humans. It's okay. it's fifty percent cornmeal, fifty percent flour, and then whatever additive stuff you want to add. So, so it's like cornmeal, what? Like, uh, yeah, dude. yeah. <laughs> um, and the other bait I made was sardine, which stunk up the whole house. Oh boy, really <laughs> you're bad. feeding fish to other fish. <laughs> Cannibalism. Basically, uh, fish wow. cannibalism, dude. And basically, so I I got super excited and went to the fishing lagoon yesterday with my own homemade bait yeah. and like. I cast out and shit, and fucking fish are too smart. Nothing, oh. nothing, nothing. Okay. And wow. funny, but the thing is, very funny. The thing that made me happy was there was another man there, a big man, like a big, muscly, buff, tattooed man in a tank top. No synthol there. Synthol man. No synthol there. It looked all natural. <laughs> Natties. Like, dude, like this guy. <laughs> that, that's what you call he them. Natties. He injects fish oil, no man. <laughs> dude, natural. This, this guy was like dual wielding fishing rods. What? <laughs> He had like he had two fishing rods and he would one rod was like a simple uh, bait rod and he would just cast it out and leave it there. And then mm. the other rod, it had this sick rig on the end of it. Like me and Donna saw the rig and both of us were just like, Whoa, what the fuck kind of S class fishery <laughs> is this? And like it's just this like really heavy looking line with like eight hooks. Like eight like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, me? eight. Eight <laughs> hooks. Excuse me. And a weight on the end. And, like, there's bait all over it, worms and oh, shit. Okay. And when he casts it out, it makes the hugest splash. Yeah, smorgasbord kind of, of fish dude, bait. complicated. There's some, there's some Spongebob frying pan <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm frying the Wait, spatula speaking shit. Speaking of Spongebob, the fucking sinful story sounded like that. 
when he oh. got those fake arms. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> those those inflatable cannon. arms. Right. Oh shit! But so, dude, like back to the fish. This yeah. rig was like the most. Like me and yeah. Donna were like, what if he, what if he hooks himself? <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> got like a that's nine tails eight. effect. That's and fucking eight back. hooks, man. Yeah. And like basically, like we we start to get to talk, and it's like, oi, um, <laughs> oh, you talk to him? Yeah, 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 nice. yeah. Basically, like muscles, man. Dude, why they got fucking bouncer? Dude, I have no idea if it's like some fisherman thing to talk to each other, but yeah, like it is, I basically, guess. He, he just goes up to me and he's like, "Ano bait mo?" And I'm like, "Ah, masalang go ako sa bahay." He's like, "Oh, bulate lang eh. <laughs> <laughs> That was the extent. Of our talking to each other and basically he, he he would run around the lagoon just like wow he's exercising no no no, 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 no. Oh, he's no, just running around, the running around. No, the game has changed boys like like <laughs> siguro after five minutes in one spot he'll walk over to another spot and do it there and basically what he does right because he's dual wielding rod yeah. he'll cast one rod out and leave it there oh. and his other sick fishing rig s class eight hook setup. Like, yeah. he would cast it out. It would make the hugest splash. Yeah. It would hit the bottom. And that would make the wow. fish go away. Yeah, know, right? that, that, that's that's what I was thinking. But, mm. but what he was doing was, was the equivalent of, like, dredging the sea floor for fish. Oh. And basically, he would drag the eight hooks, like, across the bottom. Like, you'd see him. He was, like, power lifting the fucking he's fishing power rod. power fishing? Wow. Dude, he's, like, power <laughs> fishing. He's doing rows. He's, he's doing weights on, like... <laughs> He's doing fucking weights using the lagoon's floor. <laughs> using the eight hooks. It was fucking amazing. Wait what is minute. this boss character you <laughs> run into? Dude, that guy was amazing. But was <laughs> is he on C4? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. But he was the hype as shit, man. Oh, and like, man. he was over in the other hut listening to hype music while oh, fishing. Shit. <laughs> what if... It's like, what if, like, like little John. <laughs> he was fishing in hard mode. Dude, yeah. What if like, you, you asked him, on the beat me? C4. <laughs> like what, what, little, little balls of C4. Oh, man. <laughs> and basically, like, the the next time he came up to me, he's like, May kumakagat ba? Wala, wala. And he's like, Ako rin eh, walang kumakagat eh. Like, like, uh, like, later he tells me, like, um, he snagged a little fish. Uh-huh. Like, just dragging the eight hooks across the ground. Oh, wow. <laughs> and he's like, Oh, may nasabit na isa, pero ang liit eh. So, pe- so I just left it. Like did the fish like was just, it actually bit on the hook or no, did no. it just get hooked on no. the side? Like, oh shit. He said it got snagged on the fin or something. Oh, oh, man. Man. Oh, while just dragging his yeah. eight hook monstrosity. That torture device. Collateral for damage. Fishes. <laughs> I think I that's why he was dragging it across the floor. Oh. Man. In my head, this so is what's like the point some... of bait then if yeah. you're just gonna fight? <laughs> <him. laughs> exactly. Get okay. over here. Basic, hook him and basic, hook him. <laughs> The worms were there just basically as an audience. <laughs> like, witness this, dude. But it's funny you went to witness this because in my mind it's this Mad Max looking monstrosity <laughs> that is throwing into the lagoon. Dude, it, it, it might as well be. It sounds like it. The Mortal Kombat mm. of fishing. He was brute forcing this lagoon. He's wow. like, I've never heard of this thing before. It's like, this is, if these fish aren't going to bite, I'm going to snag them somehow. Fucking man. grander Musashi this villain. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, man. Like, dude, you ideals of fishing has it challenged <laughs> this guy dude because he was looking at me and like <laughs> like look, look at this pacifist son of a bitch scrub he, like he was looking at me and I only had one rod and I was using a floater right I was using a floater so like I would just cast out put down the fishing rod and eat like squid oh, bowls and have no. gulaman and I was just chilling out but this guy this guy was active fishing Ooh, like, like he was an cardio active fisherman fishing, baby. and basically when he saw me like he got pissed off no no no. (laughs) when he saw me doing the floating fishing and like just chilling out like enjoying my time that's when he started dual wielding basically (laughs) and show this punk (laughs) how fishing is done (laughs) i will ruin his idealism (laughs) that's that's when he started using the second rod to float fish as well while doing his hype fishing fishing. But the, oh, want me to tell you. <laughs> but 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 the saddest thing that happened to this guy was like during one of the last times he went up to me to ask if any fish was biting, he cast out his like eight hook eight hook mega bait. Yeah, his eight tails. Yeah, yeah. Sure. He, like he casts out his eight hooks and then he starts pulling. Because whenever this guy pulls on on these eight hooks to bring it back to shore, mm, yeah. like 
his fishing rod would bend, right? Wow. So you know it's scraping across the ground. Yeah. And basically, he 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 not only reels it in, he pulls as well. He rows it. Like like he yeah. pulls back, like yeah, alternating to left. Right, as if it was reps, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> He's basically doing a Russian twist, dude. Yeah, dude. It's, it's basically like a fucking ab workout. Like he's, he's doing left, right, left, right. And during the last time he went up to me and started dredging the bottom of this lagoon, oh god, I just hear a snap. Uh oh. And then he's like, he turns to me. Uh-oh. I turn to him. <laughs> uh oh. And I was like, line break. Like I look at him and I'm like, I. And, and he's like, Ay, Ay, wala na yun. <laughs> and then he wala just na. walks away sad <laughs> oh, and he attaches man. another float to that one and he just oh. casts two of them at the same time and sits down. Oh, <laughs> it defeat. broke him. Like he lost Damn. his eight hooks. He lost it. Well, I would wow. probably react the same way Dude, if I had like, that Ay. kind of complex yeah. setup. Wala Dude, yeah, he's... Yeah. He just looked defeated by the lagoon. <laughs> Dude, imagine looking for that. You just hook yourself. I yeah. guess, but Dude, at least yeah. you get it back. Yeah. yeah. And is, is it fish. worth it to get into that water? Because I've seen it. It's kind of murk. It's kind of murk, yeah. man. Yeah. It's kind of murk. And I think it's pretty get deep, murk. too. Yeah. yeah, it feels pretty deep. And my last interaction with him was like, I was done for the day. Like, I was happy with what I did. I didn't catch anything. But... <laughs> Um, but like, you look good no, like, doing I, it. I had fun. <laughs> That's what matters. <laughs> I had fun. And and while I was walking away, I walked past the guy and I was like, May kumagat ba? And he's like, Wala pa rin eh. And I'm like, Alice now, you want some of my bait? And he's like, I'll try anything. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like, Sana kumagat, sana kumagat. Like, he just grabs like a handful of my sardine bait. What is this I'm animation? Like, what's happening? He's like, thanks bro, thanks bro. <laughs> That's my tear. Bro Fisher pala. Dude. And then we just leave oh, and I'm like, I hope he caught something. Uh, in the Aww. end, Emil became the hero. <laughs> Dude, this guy was hype. Eight yeah. books? I gotta try that. <laughs> Maybe he was Damn. showing it off because he saw right. someone else least, fishing. Oh, maybe. Did you at least get his name? No, or? not at all. Oh, wow. mm. Like, we were just talking to each other and like, Ado bait mo? Musta? Kumakakat ba? Hindi, hindi. You should give him a name or something. Uh, uh, then yeah. Setsuno. <laughs> Eight Hook Magi? What? I don't know. Hindi, kailangan Pinoy. Yeah, kailangan Pinoy. Benjo. Uh, Benjo. <laughs> Benjo. There we go. There That's we a go. good one. That's the good legendary one. fisher. Benjo. Benjo. <laughs> Benjo Ocho. And, and don't forget. <laughs> Benjo Ocho. Oh, God. I like it. I like it. That's good. He, Fucking eight he, hooks, man. Yeah, stop. I'm good. Maybe they're like... Because you remember when we first went to this lagoon, we saw the, the other guy who had the, the miraculous yeah. like cast. Miraculous cast. Yeah. So like maybe they're like seven fishermen in this lagoon. The legendary <laughs> the seven legendary fishermen. Seven the fisher gods of La Mesa. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the protectors of the lagoon. <laughs> the gatekeepers of the lagoon. Man. I have to befriend each of them for them to tell me the secrets of the lagoon. <laughs> so the legendary So far, I got spot. one. I gave him bait. Yeah. He's my friend now. <laughs> Did you get anything out? No, no, no. He just, just said, thanks, friendship. bro. Thanks, bro. <laughs> just friendship. Just friendship. Yeah. If he sees you next time and remembers oh. you, maybe that'll change. Maybe he'll give me eight hooks. No, Dude. maybe he'll give you a bait. Yeah, the, the special, his special it's bait. His special hooks. bait. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone and take this. <laughs> take these eight hooks <laughs> and worms. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, overall, That's that was fun that's, good. Mm, that's mostly what i did um i tried playing some dbfz the no. usual stuff my laptop still crashing no one wants to hear about that Aww. Aww. um <laughs> a moment of silence I, I saw you boot up dbfz in steam and like we dbfz training <laughs> yeah and then you, you stopped replying <laughs> and then then facebook my laptop crashed <laughs> Aww. yeah it was the worst it's like sad uh, story Get a change, man. Dude, yeah. Um, I'm actually bringing it to the shop on Tuesday, hopefully. Uh, um, replace hopefully my laptop that... for a hamburger today. Mm-hmm. Mm. Dude, um, hopefully they fix it. If not, like I, I will have my last resorts. Bring it to the state. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, I hope it doesn't have to come to that. Oh. Uh, so, who else had a week? <laughs> Let's just go in the same pattern. Rafi, same pattern. Rafi, Rafi, right. Rafi, up to you. Here we go. Notes time, okay. baby. Oh, yes. Notes. 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 Big cheats. Big cheats. I'm so forgetful because this is one thing about me. I forget. <laughs> I forget right. the forget thing I was thinking notes. a thought before. Like, mm. 
<laughs> my, my memory's so slippery. Jim slippery? Yeah. Mm. It's like... It's oiled up. Yeah, it's really bad. Like, like the synthol man. <laughs> synthol memory. Synthol. Yeah. It, like, I like to think of it as like, my head is a one-track mind. Oh, dude. Was... Like, it's only one way. <laughs> oh. It's it's like, only well, that's like gone. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Just keep <laughs> Basically. going. Basically. Dude, Aris has like a similar saying about me. He yeah. says like, my brain is just two ram sticks unplugged. <laughs> wow, that's pretty, yeah. So you, you can't even use it. Yeah, yeah. He says it's just two ram sticks because I just say random shit and I don't have any actual memories. You don't <laughs> store it anywhere. Yeah, I just have random access. Are you, you sure? You pick it up and throw it out. Oh man. It sounded like he was dunking on you pretty hard. <laughs> no, that was him actually. being nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> He, he said, like, you can talk for, like, an hour, but never retain anything. <laughs> Cold. Cold, mm. Iris. I found it funny. Okay. Oh, so All what right. do you do, so, Rafi? Yeah. Um, okay. I feel like this is going to be a, the recurring thing now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> gym mystery. Gym guess. mystery? I got some more gym mysteries oh, for you. Oh, I'm so high. Let's go, we need man. a theme song for gym mysteries. Yeah. Pop, I'm going to compose it. Pop, 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 gym mysteries. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. What's the gym mystery for this week, Rafi? <laughs> Whoa, here we go. That's hard. <laughs> okay, okay. Good. Starting out with a hearty laugh. Collect your thoughts. Let's set them up. Let's, your... let's set them up. Go for bro. This can week you... on Gym Mysteries. Can your scalp feel? <laughs> <laughs> what is this question? I'm what sure it can. I'm sure your scalp are, can feel. Are you sure this is Gym Mysteries or Gym Mysteries? Are... Are you sure this is a gym mystery or is this just a mystery for you? It's just my body. <laughs> it's my so Rafi's mysterious body. <laughs> Rafi's mysterious body. <laughs> so, but yeah. Okay, um, so what happened? What happened, man? Oh my god. Wait, this, this, this segment evolved from gym Bob mystery to, to Rafi's to mysterious, <laughs> mysterious body. body. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking Magic School Bus episode. Oh, man. Dude, what's wrong with Rafi's body? <laughs> Mystery it's, Science it's Theater. It's one of those episodes where you shrink and go inside. Man. Dude, yeah. And Possibly. find the problem. Yeah, just like <laughs> fucking Jones Magic School shit. Bus, man. Osmosis Jones this shit. Osmosis, Osmosis, Osmosis Jones. What's that, Miss Frizzle? It's the smelly snot. <laughs> <laughs> it's the ice cube in Rafi's nose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So, so last week was so, the ice cube. Today, <laughs> it's your is... scalp. What's up with your scalp, my man? <laughs> What is up with my scalp? <laughs> um, so, I was, so I was shaving my head. Okay. The, As you do. Yeah, at the gym. Yeah. I feel like it's a perfectly normal place to do it because mm-hmm. there's a bathroom and everything. Yes. So I I, I began running uh, cold warm water. water on it. Oh, right, right. right. To warm, like the even, the even cold. Oh, right. I, even, even, sorry, sorry, sorry. Even, even like going to hot. Mm-hmm. And, oh, and and for any of our <clears throat> listeners out there who are unfamiliar with Rafi's hairstyle, right? What is your hairstyle, Mister? I am sporting the very trendy, nothing. very fashionable nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he, funny, he, very the funny. Boy. <laughs> he basically shaves his head. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, so I ran my head on the faucet. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> on the violent. faucet. On okay. the faucet. Yeah. So like, you stuck your head in the sink. Yeah. Uh-huh. This, okay. Then like. Uh, so to wash off the excess hair and shit. Right. But when I like tried to use my hand to 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 uh, to to rinse rinse, rinse with the, the 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 water, mm-hmm. I felt the water was it was really hot. <laughs> it was like <laughs> Wait. it was like a little boiling almost. Okay. Then like when I dip my head back in, huh? There's nothing. <laughs> oh, no. It's just water. Wait. So, so I, I turned the dial to the reverse. I, I went for the cold. Okay. Uh, still nothing. Uh, but you tested with your hand. It was cold. Yeah, it was cold. But your head was like, My nah. My head was like, nah. What's maybe, happening? Maybe that's like an effect of razor burn. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know. Wait, was your head feeling nothing or were you just feeling normal tap water? Normal tap water. Okay, okay. It wasn't it, nothing. You couldn't feel, feel temperature. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's just the temperature that was like, oh, wait. This is fine. Wait. You're right. These aren't gym mysteries. <laughs> this is a bathroom the mystery. This is Rafi's this mysterious body. This happened at the gym. Okay. Come on, guys. We, <laughs> we need to get on with the segment. Part. Rafi's mysterious, mysterious body. body. Okay. So what will he discover next basically week? Basically, what happened was due to your head being shaved causing friction, so mm. the nerves in your scalp 
um, kind of got numb. Oh no! Are you a reverse airbender? Actually, I don't know what I'm <laughs> actually talking about. So I'm just trying okay, to theorize what happened. Okay. So fake news, basically, fake news. Maybe your head got numb with all the shaving. Yeah, and like, like, like maybe it. maybe it's a razor burn. Stop. Like after you shave your face. Yeah. Yeah. Like and it then, has but, a default state but, of right. There's know. a numbness to it. Mm. Maybe that's it. Numbness. Not really numbness, but I I, I feel it as like. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I have a question. Okay. (laughs) I love your. Are you going to shave your head too, Emil? (laughs) What if it's a spaceship? (laughs) (laughs) Like. (laughs) Emil's mysterious mind. (laughs) I have a, like, pretty sound theory this week. It's not an ice cube out of nowhere. Yes. Mm. (laughs) What do you call it? How long have you had your head shaved like that? Oh, <laughs> many years. Many years. Like, 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 like since like, time began. <laughs> no, have okay. you had hair before? Yeah. I've seen the photos. <laughs> yeah, I'll have, I'll have to kill you after. Oh, oh god, dude, we need to upload this first. All right. What? I'm gonna, oh, no. I'm gonna draw it. <laughs> With hair? I'm gonna make okay. it no, because you know how everyone's scalp is kind of like sensitive, like, mm. like because it doesn't get much interaction with the outside world right <laughs> right right okay. right when you pull someone's hair it hurts like fuck right yeah. like mm. not when you pull a bunch because like that surface area bullshit mm-hmm. right right when you pull just a bit or like one hair it hurts yeah. like a motherfucker right all right that's because your hair is uh, your scalp is sheltered by your hair it's yeah. like a protective layer right. right 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 what if through the years of you shaving your head <laughs> exposing your head to the elements it was hardened into stone. <laughs> Simple, naturally. What if, what if there was an alien from another dimension oh, that oh, injected no. your scalp with Simple? Are we slowly <laughs> becoming important if true? Oh no! <laughs> We're just theorizing what's uh, happened to Rappi's like, body. I have a sort of kind of not the amount of big bald spot, but there's a portion where. Mm. It looks like it's growing into a bald spot. Isn't that okay. just like one of your head swirls? It was, but then I, I used to get like wounds up here. Okay, okay. okay. And then um, it numbed down to a point that when I pluck a hair, I don't feel anything. Ah, I guess okay. your whole head has scars. Wait, wait, wait. I have another. Oh, God. Here we go. God. Here we wait, go. wait, wait. No, no, no. It's not a theory. Be. It's a question. <laughs> what if your head ran on batteries? <laughs> Black mirror. <laughs> what if your head ran on batteries? Bald mirror. Oh man. No, no. no. Look, like, I have a question. Oh um, when you go bald, that just means like your hair stopped producing the stuff, right? No, uh, yeah, yeah. Does going bald affect other things? <laughs> what? What? What is that? What is that? No, I mean, like, since since. <laughs> We, we you, you need to word this very carefully. Yeah. No, right. Since since the hair is like nah, man. My dick is fine. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> just barrel through no. it. <laughs> no, it's like just imagine. Since the hair follicle over there says nah, man. Yeah. What if other things said nah, man? What? My dick. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, like, what if like the sense hot or cold? Nah, man. <laughs> No, um, but he gets cold flashes yeah, on his head. His hand. Right? No. So it's just yeah. the water? Yeah. It's like you can't have aircon blowing on your... Yeah, your it makes wait, my head, head hurts. Wait, when you went to Japan, was, yeah. was your head cold? I don't remember. I don't remember specifically my it head. wiped my out his memory. Cold, but not but my scalp. The top mm. of your head, was it cold? No. No. <gasps> I don't think so. <laughs> Synthol. Dude. <laughs> you've, you've developed a resistance yeah. to temperature oh, on your head. In you your think? Head. Your defense like... has gotten stronger. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Am I gaining new superpowers per episode? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> if someone karate chops your head, it'll break. <laughs> Dude, I mean, their hand will you shatter. Lost the ice cube. You must have gained something else. <laughs> Protect the head. It coverage. became a rock, dude. You're basically dude. Luke Cage, but only the head. Just the top of your head. And, and only have diamonds. And, and skin. only temperature. Yeah, not physical damage. Yeah, just dude. temperature. Not yet. Not you can't yet. take a bath, but you can take the temperature. All right. Your head can <laughs> bathe in hot water. Can you imagine, like, you go to like a snowy country. You're all bundled up in a coat. You have earmuffs, but your head's exposed. <laughs> Dude, it's and it's fine. radiating heat. Dude, everyone will be like, yo, that guy's hard. <laughs> you earn their respect immediately. Dude, they're like, yo, look at him. He's oh, rocking man. it. Like, <laughs> if you can actually think the implications that you can do with a really hard head, 
without like a head without was, any feeling whatsoever. You can you be like the rhino dance and do some <laughs> head spins <laughs> without <laughs> any feeling of friction or heat. Dude, actually, think about the consequences. I was thinking about that. Yeah. Like, like now that you mention it, if you do a head spin, yeah. it'll get hot. But since he can't yeah, feel he hot, he can't feel anything. Like it'll be okay. It will just oh, wait, wait, wait. But he might even spin faster. But that might be no a bad pressure. thing. That might be a bad Why? thing. No, think about it. Pain, it, it, pain, like feeling heat, feeling cold, feeling pain is the way the body tells us no. Nah, <laughs> that's right. right. Don't it do that. That's danger. right. Yeah. But imagine if he just head spun and kept going <laughs> to the center. Do it and start pouring on the floor. <laughs> Unexplored. Okay, okay. What if it's it, it is in a, in a controlled environment? So it's wooden floors, shined, wax shined. Okay. And he head spins there. So it's a perfect spin. So no friction. No, wax wax friction. floor. Hook me up to a generator, infinite power. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Like Leo will wake up. It's oh, not dude, a dream. Dude, all of the all of the heat from the friction, since it doesn't go to your head, we could harvest oh, it for power. Dude, Raffi, can I be your can you be I'm my totem it. when I dream? <laughs> so when I spin you. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I saw the heat spinner. generated by this round. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was a, oh, <laughs> That's a good gym mystery. Mm. <laughs> That's a good gym mystery. God, I like that my head went to, like, I can be the worst kind of superhero. But you just went straight to breakdancing. Dude, <laughs> like, dude, it's really... Imagine. Okay. Yeah. You could be the Beyblade of Justice. Like, you could have a Guinness World Record of... Beyblade of Justice. Let it rip! Bonus, 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 bonus! Can you imagine, Raffi, in a gigantic-sized Beyblade stadium? Dude, just oh, man. There. Just spinning around. His, <laughs> in his gladiator <laughs> helmet. <laughs> <laughs> With his legs all twirly, <laughs> dude, that would be hype. Oh man! So anything can beat Chun Li. Any other yeah. interesting gym stories or no, what, what else? I'll happened? save them. I'll save them from ne- for next week. Mm. <laughs> save call, the gym mysteries call, yeah. for next week. Yeah. But but what what else have you been up to, my man? Yeah. Um, we watched Greatest Showman. Oh, That's how good. was dude, that? That was it's super the huge dude, like, Ackerman mm, movie. Everyone's watched Greatest Showman. I haven't. I haven't. What's dude, the big hubbubble? I have. Hubbubble. It's great. Hubbubble. It's hubbubble. great. It's absolutely. I don't want to say mumbo jumbo. <laughs> it's absolutely special. Like the really? movie. The movie is so like inspiring and uplifting and positive mm-hmm. and inclusive. And it's all about like you know the the premise of it. No. Uh, so it's like it's like a musical biopic. Okay. Oh, okay. Of, of P.T. Barnum, the guy oh, who started the circus. The circus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so they paint him as this this guy who um, who who took like society's outcasts and and the freaks basically basically yeah. and mm-hmm. and made them proud to be that and yeah. make money off of that. Because like basically back in the day, P.T. Barnum started like the freak show stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bearded lady, yeah. like like like. The midget, the strong yeah. man, the yeah. strong man. Mm-hmm. Like even they go as far as like if you're uh, if you're a black person at that time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He even hired like slaves to be on the to be on the show. What would they but, be? Um, just trapeze artists, just different sort of. Oh, movies. okay, so, okay. Yeah, yeah. It was a like, different they're, time they're for sure. Other talents, mm-hmm. like even if they were doing like dancing, some, rapping, just just dancing <laughs> or just singing, just. The them being able to do that in front of a crowd is mm-hmm. already an attraction. Yeah. Ah, okay. So like they, people they, don't get to see that, and mm-hmm. they paint him not like a scumbaggy way that is making money off of this misfit. Yeah, but it's, it, they're doing it as if like it's a positive thing. That interesting. Them out. Yeah, because and, um, yeah, yeah, um, about that kind of um, his process of taking in freaks and getting money out of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, like. It comes sort of like he's a good guy but at the same time scummy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right? like if you just operate I mean, on the broad, yeah, yeah like, stories of it. Because like originally, like the view on P.T. Barnum, the view on like because I had no idea this is what Greatest Showman was about. Yeah, I have no like idea the, like usually when you think P.T. Barnum, when you think um, carnies, uh, yeah. when you think circus people, you think of like. I mean, even in cartoons, they're yeah, painted as like this guy. exploitative, like yeah. oh no, right, you, right, you'll right, work yeah. for me forever. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Like uh, they they steal animals, they steal, yeah. and it all feels scummy. But I guess if you think about it that way, that instead of 
exploitative <laughs> stuff instead mm. of focusing on that you focus on the whole thing of like giving them pride in who they are yeah, empowering right. them that, that's exactly. what it's about that's, that's what it's about How? like they, he teaches them that you don't have to hide from the world you don't have to be cast aside mm-hmm. like you're a part of this world you have to be in there you have to show them that you're not just what you are so this is what P.T. Barnum actually was uh, supposedly by some accounts yes oh. he's, he's painted worse than what he really was Okay. Oh, interesting. Yeah, like, like the the quote that gets attributed to him like a lot. That there's a sucker born every minute. Yeah, that's yeah, not that's him. really him. Oh, who's, okay. who's that? that that's just some some other dude. But Zach <laughs> never, <laughs> it's basic. God damn nah. it. Also, yeah. Um, since it's a musical, mm-hmm. a musical biopic. Troy motherfucking yeah. Bolton. Oh, like, really? He's really? fucking singing like, like, again. Like, he's actually, in there, dude. Uh, when you actually posted the poll between Tomb Raider and uh, what's this? Uh, Greatest Showman. Yeah. I was saying that you were actually voting for the Greatest Showman because I Troy Bolton was there. Or... I didn't realize. I didn't realize that fucking Troy oh. fucking Bolton was there. Yeah. yeah. For, for anyone yeah. listening out there, Troy Bolton has played like a huge part in Rafi's life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. I graduated the same year as him. So. <laughs> Say his real awesome. name at We're least. Kind of dude. basically the same. Say his real name. <laughs> yes. so, oh God damn in, it. The, in the recording that we did in the car after Greatest Showman, which comes out tomorrow on geekandgladiators.com. Um, nice, <laughs> nice. I like it. Nice. Um, I actually call him instead of Zac Efron. Troy Bolton. I just didn't mean it. I call him Troy Bolton <laughs> no, the whole time. The son of Michael Bolton. Yeah. So how cool is it? There's like a musical number between uh, Wolverine and Troy Bolton, like. Wolverine's yes. in there. Oh, yeah, Jackman dude, huge Jackman is there. Jackman, Barnum. Yeah. Dude, I have, dude, I know nothing about Greatest Showman besides everyone on my timeline is talking about it. Right, it's so, so great. It's and so great. He's and on the poster. Yeah, so really? it stars Hugh Jackman, you, you watch uh, Zac Efron, uh, Zac Efron, Zendaya, um, uh, other. Oh, the, the bearded lady. Other really singer good. ladies. I, I'm not saying that ironically. The bearded lady is really good. She can really sing. Yeah. Oh. Um, her name's Kiala Seattle. She's a Broadway person, and this is her first uh, major she's, motion picture. She's the one who's Whoa. saying, this is me. Right? This is me. Fantastic yeah. track. So, so like, mm. I love that all of the movie, all of the songs are always so positive, And, like, they have this mm. message of going against the green, no matter how, like, impossible the odds are. So is this, like, the anyway, mainstream yeah. Hamilton? Kind of. I think right, that's right. what they're going with. You know what? Mm-hmm. I haven't watched... Hamilton, I actually. haven't actually, watched either. I don't know how. I have and, not watched Hamilton either, and, and I'm, I'm just kinda... going like through stock knowledge I have based off like the general consensus about that yeah. musical. I'm actually kind of baffled like how popular it is here in the Philippines. What like, Hamilton? Hamilton yeah. I, I mean, like we don't have any showings of it, but, but how there do we is watch it? you <laughs> underestimate. Like, there's a cult following, dude. Like, you yeah. underestimate Hamilton the theater, Hamilton. the amount of theater people here, yeah. the amount of theater fans. Yeah, tons, tons. Uh-huh. They fucking love the shit. Yeah. And, like, they will find any way to watch it. I remember when, like, a whole bunch of my friends were downloading bootleg copies of cam footage of... Um, 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 wow, um, cam footage. Um, huh. um, what was that musical called? Uh, what was the musical called? The, the Book of Mormon. Uh, yeah. Oh, right. I remember them watching yeah, yeah. cam footage of it. it wow. Like, people will get their hands on musicals, man. Mm. Huh. I should, too. Dude, I'm, I mean, I'm like... really into it. Actually, that's one of the things that is um, hotly <clears throat> debated. Yeah. Because um, Broadway <laughs> people are always, like... They never record their shows. Yeah. So... That's, the, uh, like, the art of theater. Yeah, right? basically... Okay. Basically, um, what they say is, like, you have to experience it. You have to be there. Yeah. It has to be face-to-face or else the, the, the experience is not authentic, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Like but it's... basically, everyone else who is a theater enthusiast... Is basically saying, "Yo, not everyone can go to Broadway, True. and right. everyone should be able to experience this musical in some way, shape, or form." That's why everyone bootlegs it and everyone takes cam footage because there is an audience who wants to watch it that can't, can't. go. Yeah. So, right. like, that's the big debate. Like, well, like, mm, should one... you bootleg it? Should <laughs> Should Broadway step up and actually make official recording? I what? really think that's the that's the main. What thing. I'm thinking is they should just officially stream it. You know, yo, that's something. Yo, Twitch, Twitch watches Hamilton. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, because Twitch has live. I think is is it Twitch or YouTube who actually does live um concerts now? Like oh streaming, right, like Steve Aoki's um concerts. Got really, streams. I had no idea. I yeah, with the three D, the three sixty cam. Yeah, it's either oh. Twitch or YouTube. So it's not really that far of a possibility. And in like, this, I, I think that'll go against most like um, yeah, the curious, tradition of I guess. yeah of of like. 
uh, live shows and musicals. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But you're locking them off in a part of the world. Yeah, I mean, right. Like, but the exclusivity, I think, adds to the factor of people um, wanting to go there. Yeah. Okay, also, so, yeah so, so, like, that's also on that note. That's one of the, that's one of the the topics that they actually talk about in The Greatest Showman, like, because P. D. Barnum was a pioneer in entertainment mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because at the time art and stuff like this like stage plays were just for a certain audience like for the rich for the affluent exactly yeah. and pt barnum oh. started the circus so that the art common and folk. performance can be consumed by common folk interesting cool. like, and, and it's, it's easy to digest it's it's a bearded lady it's a strong man uh-huh. it's an, uh, and you leave with a smile ah oh, once again once again mm. like 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 there was the negative take on that instead of that very positive one because like i mean what's usually portrayed by mainstream media mm-hmm. is that the circus is there to take advantage of the common folk. Right. Not share an art form. I, I really like the positive take. I mean, like, um, the carny culture is the one that came up with the term mark. Yeah. Basically, oh. they're the ones... <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Um, basically... Interesting. Basically, carnival people are the ones who came up with the term mark because marks are the ones you fool. They're yeah. basically yeah. your victims. Yeah, this is the mark. He is the one we are why going am, to fool. Why are you pointing right, right, at right. me? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm actually this pointing. I'm a gym mark. <laughs> no. You're a C4 yes, mark. C4 mark. mark. Simple <laughs> mark. <laughs> no. Yeah. But yeah, um, it's just so interesting to me that like something so like widely negative mm-hmm. has been turned positive by Greatest Showman. And it doesn't do so in, in the hopes of not tackling the negative aspects of it. Really? The negative it aspects are it. there. Mm-hmm. And they show it that these are uh, uh, the the perceptions of it. Like, there's mm-hmm. a... Uh, there's a, like... I don't want to spoil it, though. But <laughs> they do they do tackle that aspect of it. Like, uh, the show is being accused of being it being fake and, and mm-hmm. staged. And, like, they're after people's money. And just... And P.T. Barnum just replies that... The, the, do the smiles they have right now do they look fake to you mm. like, that is a good message that sounds like a very it. anime line yeah, yeah dude that's it's some anime shit <laughs> right there so yeah sh- you should get on it like I think in some theaters there's still versions of it running but mm. it's the sing-along version oh, sing-along that's right. fine that's the I mean, one that has subtitles hey, right? minus one the, yung nga, like beach may beach scene with some model or si Michael Jordan <laughs> you, you, video you've in, uh, seen just, some of those video really? games, right? Yeah, basketball. NBA, yeah, holy really shit! Dude, okay. dude, like some of them Kobe get Bryant. really weird, man. Ang <laughs> yeah. alam ko parang yeah, like like traveling abroad in Italy. There's that. Doing the I've seen that sounds. one. I've seen that. Oh, one. There's yeah, one yeah, guy yeah. who's actually yeah. doing the trumpet or something. Man, video game like B footage is the, the weirdest, yeah. wildest thing. <laughs> Funniest dude. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But yeah, um, greatest showman. Where were we? Um, um, the greatest showman is great. Yeah, it's really great. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so um, the versions running right now are the sing-along versions, which kind of is a double-edged sword. Okay. Um, one, um, it's still running. From it, it, it was like it got released in January and it's still out in theaters now, so people can experience it. Wow. But uh, it's a sing-along version, which means there are words on the <laughs> it's... words on the thing, and there's a bouncing top hat. Oh, oh, okay. Per word. It's like a Barney episode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's like all Disney the sing along songs. Yeah. So, right. like, uh, it kind of makes it a little kiddie, mm. but uh, it's Sorry. worth it if just to catch it. Like, me and Denise uh, promptly resolved to ignore that bit of it because it's taking away from <laughs> oh, watching. You didn't sing? Oh, man. No, we didn't know the, li- the lyrics at first. Like, uh, this is our first uh, time watching it. It obstructs your enjoyment of the mm. film. Yeah, because you're just basically looking at the words instead right. of, like, yeah, Hugh no, Jackman's no amazing face. Yeah. Like, I-, I came out of the movie theater with two things, emotional, and the other thing was fucking Hugh Jackman, man. What a fucking treasure that guy is. Yeah. Like, super right. talented. Um, like, I mean, Les Miserables, right? Les Miserables, uh, like, every summer he's like, one time, one summer he's singing, one time he's jacked as Wolverine. Yeah, there's, <laughs> one time a, he's back singing there's a story uh, behind the scenes when they're developing or producing this movie. Yeah. Is that when they were rehearsing, because before this was greenlit, yeah. I think they took eight months right. to get over, to... Seven years. To get, ah, to yeah, get yeah, all yeah, of the yeah. cast together and try right. to rehearse all the songs. Right, right. And during that time, I think Hugh Jackman has skin cancer. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a portion of his nose removed. So yeah. um, before the rehearsal, uh, he was advised by his doctor that he cannot 
right. saying. Right, right, right. And during a segment of a song, uh, he got so moved mm-hmm. by the by the song that he started singing. Yeah, he couldn't help it. <laughs> he like, couldn't help it. Yeah. And then after that, he just got stitches. Yeah, he afterwards. just got... He bled for that too during yeah. that performance. And uh, so, yeah, that's also one of the um, reasons why I'm kind of interested in seeing the the movie. You the gotta movie. watch it, dude. Because I was so I was uh, looking at the behind the scenes videos that were available on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, that's a really powerful stuff. Like it's really entertaining. Look, look and at like, the other one too. The the one with "This Is Me." Um, mm, the yeah. the the lady singing "This Is Me" is actually a Broadway uh, uh, performer, mm-hmm. and this is her first time doing a major motion picture. Yeah, and it's like she was all nervous the whole time, but this was her big solo. This was like the bearded lady solo. Mm-hmm. So like, uh, the director goes uh, says that this was the session in which the movie was either gonna get greenlit or canned. Mm. So they're performing in front of the producers and the money people and stuff oh, like that. So, they do, they so they this do is theater. the big performance, yeah. No okay. pressure, lady. No, no pressure, <laughs> bearded lady guy. Uh, bearded girl. lady guy. So yeah, so she she starts off the performance really pitchy, really really kind of nervous. Then like in the middle of it, uh, or like in, in the middle of her first verse, she starts making her way to the center, mm. and she gets everyone hyped up. Interesting. She, we should link this in in the show notes or something. Like this this clip was really amazing. He yeah. gets everyone hyped up. Even Hugh Jackman was fucking. Uh, he, she had, he had an apple and he was dancing. Yeah, right? yeah, I saw that. Thing. Man, he was moving, he was dancing, dancing yeah. with an apple. Yeah, that's the epitome. That's of the hype. epitome of hype. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah, um, Greatest Showman, you should really catch it. Also catch okay. the in the car after that we did. Nice. <laughs> Geekandgladiators.com. <laughs> Man, right. um, anyone like watch the Tomb Raider? No. Not yet. This is that's the next one, right? Yeah, I kind of want to catch it. Should be. I could, but I don't have any time. But I try to have time. It's... I mean, doesn't it feel weird to you guys that is it isn't Angelina Jolie anymore? No, oh, or no, she's I'm too okay. old. Or, yeah. yeah, all right. I'm okay with not being. You're Angelina. okay with like a new actress filling the boots? Angelina yeah. Jolie's Tomb Raider has fake. Like oh yeah, it's, dude, it's totally. It's Tri- just triangular. <laughs> oh, dude, no, she had I mean, the PS One boots. Yeah, it's like a push up bra mm-hmm. tech yeah. going on in the movie. <laughs> push up bra and tech. And that one, push up bra yeah, tech. I think um, who's, the, who's this woman? Who's, who, who's, who's this playing actress? the new Tomb Raider? Uh, Alicia Vikander. Um, yeah, so she she looks a lot more like the PS Four Tomb Raider. Yep, actually, mm-hmm. she survival looks, no, era no. Tomb Raider. She no. looks a oh. lot more like classic Lara because of her forehead I guess I guess yeah, yeah she does have that but, but she does like her look is basically based off yeah. the I the, hate the, the reboot the, the, right. the plot and the look and you know the whole characterization of mm-hmm. Lara is based on the reboot mm-hmm. so, totally 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 yeah. um, it even has like story elements from the rise yeah, of the Tomb Raider yeah she gets stranded and shit right no it, it, like even the her boat crashes like the the Trinity the I think. Trinity yeah, that's the oh. big bad in, oh, okay, in the, okay. oh, in I have no idea. Series. I've never mm-hmm. played the new Tomb Raiders. Oh, that's good. That's I only played good. up to three. <laughs> Tomb Raider 3. Oh, no. no. PS1. Yeah, yeah. Oh. No, PS1. Yeah, yeah. Like, I haven't mm-hmm. played the old ones. I just played oh, really? the, the reboot. Oh, I played the old ones. Oh, dude. Really you, you don't want to be fighting no dinosaurs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah with, with <laughs> those that. controls. Yeah, like, dude, dude those, those, those controls were bad. Tank controls. Tank controls platforming. Like the first time I saw the T-Rex, I was really hyped. Mm-hmm. But I'm not playing that. Yeah. Like and then my, you fought my, it. Huh? My, my cousin's playing okay. the, yeah. the game during that time. I was like, whoa, kind of my dinosaur. <laughs> Dude, I remember the like, first time like I played fucking Tomb Raider. I got lost in the mansion. Oh, no. Right. Oh, yeah. That was the very first one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Huh. Isn't that three? When you yeah, three, in the mansion? three. Three was my first one. I remember my neighbor like trying his best to trap the butler in the freezer. Yeah, I did that too. Can Why does do everyone that? do that? Why? Does, uh, like, he doesn't you? die. Yeah. He just gets He's stuck creepy. in there. He follows you around everywhere. Oh, like, there's, also, <laughs> there's also this thing that I'm doing during the mansion where I was trying to do a headstand a, a, a handstand. Okay. Oh yeah, on the Lara. ledge. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. kind of like free falling off. Right, right. Okay. Really? The floor and die. What happens? <laughs> oh, you, you can do that, okay. do that on the ledge. Yeah, Interesting. That's one of her moves. About, about but, this. You, but if you're going to do it like not on the ledge and just go you oh, just man. go fall head first and just instantly dies. Oh, really? Okay. So, <laughs> I think mean, that's what that? I remembered when doing that. Oh, so that's man. one of the weird glitches. About, about this butler. Does, it, does he like or have you seen the the videos of the Sherlock Holmes game. Oh, oh where what, Watson just Holmes, appears Holmes, behind you. Sherlock Holmes. Oh yeah, wa- game. where right. Watson just teleports behind you. Yeah. Like he's always like so right behind freaky. you. Dude, like the minute you look away from Watson, because 
basically the um the programmers did not have time to program a walk cycle for Watson. Right. Oh, so shit. what they did instead was he just teleports. When, <laughs> yeah. No, and he teleports in the worst way because he will only move. When you're not looking at right. him, Gee, right? Is this? So, Doctor Who, episode? Looking away. Dude, it's fucking Doctor Who, it's episode. Fucking don't fucking again. blink, my man. Jesus, it's like the moment you look away, he's fucking behind you. Yeah. It's the like worst. when you when you call Agro in Shadow of the Colossus, oh, no. <laughs> it'll appear off screen. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. A roach, so oh, just man. Warps in the <laughs> right, right. Oh man, I think it's about time for a quick break. We'll be back Whoa. after a few messages from Synthol. <laughs> Are we sponsored by Synthol? No. Is Synthol the brand? Del Monte Synthol. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't no. give him ideas. Cut, uh, cut it out. Don't, don't give, give Del Monte ideas. ideas. Yes. Imagine how thick that <laughs> bicep would be, though. <laughs> we all juiced up on the coffee? Oh, yes. God. Is it coffee, though? Let me take a big swig of the coffee. Mm. Glug, 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 glug. I don't have mm. coffee. Oh, mm. Mm. oh coffee. Mm. He's so good to me. Oh, oh. I'm a little jealous now. Del Monte coffee. Let's go. No, it's UCC, man. Uh, dude, I fucking love UCC, but we got to shill to Del Monte, right? UCC Why can't we shill to UCC? Oh, shit. Oh, you know what? We'll shill to everyone. You're dude, not, are like, you oh, against I that? Love UCC. I actually love UCC coffee. It's dude, real good. you know, I fucking love UCC, but there's one sin they have committed to me. Uh-oh. Like, Pineapples like, on pizza. No. Well, there's that, but... It's not halal. No. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Basically... There was this dish I used to always order at UCC called yeah. bread gratin uh, chicken teriyaki. Whoa, oh, right. Whoa that sounds just, it, bizarre. It, yeah, it's just basically chicken teriyaki on a bed of cubed bread. toasted bread Ooh. Uh. covered in melted cheese. Okay. Reach. Wow. It, it, it was amazing. Mm. Where's the teriyaki? Dude, it's on top. Mm. There, there's like a bunch of chicken teriyaki on top of this bed mm. of, of, of like fucking... What's happening? Don't ruin it. <laughs> this this huge bed of 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 bread and gooey cheese, and for some reason, like like one day I walk into a UCC, oh. and I'm just like one order of the chicken teriyaki bread gratin, and the lady just goes up to me and says, "Sorry, sir, face on the menu." Aww. No, and my heart just broke that day. Yeah. yeah. That was never the same. It was never the same. <laughs> I'll never have the cheesy bread with the chicken teriyaki oh. ever again. Maybe they'll bring it back. Maybe it's a seasonal thing. If no. we get sponsored. I've been trying. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been, been trying. trying to get oh, it. You send them there for your six page thesis. Dude. <laughs> oh. Why the chicken teriyaki bread gratin must what? make it back to the menu. Let me gratin. A study by Emil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, PowerPoint man. presentation. It bro. has a bunch of studies and like graphs and infographics. The only shit. person I ask is myself. Hundred <laughs> percent good research. Survey says hundred oh, percent no. of people want it back. Sample size me. One out of one. <laughs> Test audience one. Oh man. We're uh, back. We're back. We're back. Welcome to Good Trades, where everyone takes damage. Uh, <laughs> Miss, that, I love it. That, I love yeah, it. I think it's I'm gonna be it. Our, I really like our, it. Our, I'm into it. Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> damage. <laughs> what about yeah. you, Migoy? What do you feel about this new catchphrase? You like it? I like it. it. Everyone one takes one damage. Takes, That's fine. Well, it is technically that. That's what a good trade is. Yeah. yeah. Everyone takes damage. Both parties take damage. Mm-hmm. But it's, I like a good, that, it's a good trade. In a good way. I like that the motto, like explains good trades and yet still why is it the podcast <laughs> <laughs> that's true it's a we're trading story. stories okay. dude yeah we're, we're sharing punching, stories punching each other punching, we're punching each, each other, each other stories, story. and everyone takes damage dude think about it that sinful story damaged someone <laughs> not, someone, not us. someone out so there that's a good trade like maybe <laughs> someone's listening to this eating a sandwich Uh-oh. and he's just like synthol. thinking about synthol and he took damage. Mm, he's just like, <laughs> mm, yeah. I'm going to try to not make barfing noises on the podcast. Yeah. But or yeah. Like, though, or like he was about to, and we prevented the damage. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. a good trade. Mm-hmm. So, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Miguel, the cheesy chimps. The cheesiest. Yeah. What's up, man? Mm-hmm. What has been going on in your week? The well, cheesy week. Um, Cheese week. I've, yeah, I've 
played. You've been off the C4. I played the. <laughs> yeah. That's and me. Just found a new Seven alternative. Seven days running. Oh. Natty. I'm Seven natty days now. sober. Mm, all natural. natural. Yeah. Right. Are we going to go to the gym story again? No. <laughs> not if nothing. you don't want to. You don't have to. You I already mean, explained yeah, earlier. Yeah, I already did the gym story. I mean, up you talked about shit. cardio birth. Yeah. And cardio uh, hating how... birth. Mm. Cardio bigot birth. <laughs> cardio <laughs> bigot birth. Birth the cardio bigot. Mm, oh, that's dude. a good thing. Wow. Man. Good I would read that webcomic. <laughs> <laughs> birth the cardio you know bigot. What? Yeah, there are a lot of instances that there's a birth moment. The, the birth moment? Wow. Oh, I, yeah. dude, I would totally read that webcomic. Like, there's this one. Okay, this is going to be another shame <laughs> story. Another birth shame oh, story? What? No, but yeah, there's this one time when uh, me, Bert, and, and a friend of ours were um, doing just... It's it's just leg... It's just uh, abs. Mm, leg day. day Ow, leg ab day. day. Okay. Yeah, and... Uh, Basically, what we're gonna do is um, what he calls Mayweather's, but it's basically just a stand, right. a, 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 a combination of a sit up, okay, and then standing, right, and then just going back again. Okay, yeah. why is it called a Mayor Mayweather? Because he just saw Mayweather it. Mayweather doesn't. Yeah, he just saw. He, he saw him doing it. it. Yeah. Okay. So basically, <laughs> what he so he made us do it. So uh, mm-hmm. since because that's his thing, like uh, Bert's uh, basically our gym buddy slash. Kind of like a trainer in a way, since he has the experience. Mm, he so has the buffness. Out. He has the buffness. He has command of it. He has, he has the command control. of the buffness. He has control of the room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, so yeah, the so, muscles have bended to his will. Yeah. So 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 so, so the like first it. question I ask him is, "Ginawa mo ba to? Inibento mo ba to sa Oh yeah, yeah. Good job. You always tell me the stories of like, <laughs> because he like did. like. Fucking Bert will will teach you guys an exercise, yeah, and, and then later it. on, after doing a set of it, you ask him, "Is like, oh, where'd you come up with this, uh, or or where'd you find out about this exercise?" And he would always say, "Ah, gawa gawa ko lang." Oh, <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> right. there's 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 a logical explanation already ready on why on why this or why that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, so this time uh, on this uh, the, uh, these variation of get ups. So pinagwasamin yun. Tapos parang after one set, he just said, "Hmm, maybe we can modify something." Okay. On this, on this so exercise. So he's on the fly, augmenting yeah, exercise. Augmenting. So he was he was picking up weights. So he picked up like a ten kilogram weight, and mm-hmm. he tried to do a sit up, do a stand wow. up with that. Okay, sit so, up then stand up. Yeah, and also he did try to modify the exercise without any support. Okay. So because Oof. um without you, anyone like yeah, stepping on your feet or anything, your toes or something like that. And it turns out that uh, if you have weight with you, it would be easier to actually just stand up on your own. Because mm. the oh, weight yeah, kind of brings the up weight the, is your support. Yeah. Interesting. And um the the most ridiculous thing he ever did with that workout is that he tried to do a stand up but with just one leg. Okay. Oh, so it's just damn dude. So I'm sorry to go bird. But when we pin up hit up, it's just abs. <laughs> you just have to do a simple crunch. We don't have to do this. But oh, sorry, man. Yeah, in the mix, kailang mahirapan tayo. <laughs> Sayang yung lakas. <laughs> like, like but, from what I know about Bert, since I've already, I, I've only met him like once or twice. Twice, like, I guess. Yeah, yeah, like it just sounds super goofy. Like hearing these things come out of his mouth oh, in my dude. head. I mean, <laughs> if you ever hear Bert during old general friends or you know our let's play so mm-hmm. you'll, you'll get an idea of how you know how, how goofy our stuff is okay <laughs> so okay oh dude that sonic some... playthrough yeah that was one i've thing. seen that one actually. i mean that ganguru girl playthrough oh, i've yeah. seen that one actually <laughs> yeah. so um Raffi, if you're not aware um yeah. robert right. is a certified ganguru girl um expert really right. yeah because he, I'd like to see this. <laughs> I have some so, links I should send over to him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean the game. The oh, oh the game. okay, so okay. Not, also, not, so not, we, not actual Gangu. No, not actual Gangu. Okay, okay. Let's okay. start at the top. What's a Gangu girl? So it's a flash game, like a, a love, love simulator. It's an yeah, old yeah, dating yeah. flash yeah, game it's on an old grounds. Newgrounds um, um, dating, dating, dating simulator. simulator. Okay, okay. Yeah. Where the goal is to do the do to the Ganguro girl. Right. Is this the one where you're in high school? And like, uh, I don't think you're in high school in this one. No, Basically, uh, you're just some dude you're who's hitting on this girl. Yeah, in, in a bar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So what what looks like um, hours or days of grinding just to finish this game, we just like 
took 25 minutes. To 25 finish minutes it. to fucking yeah. get to the do? And the secret is friend. like. What's the secret? <laughs> Bert had a code <laughs> to, to actually have like um, money. Okay, like, so infinite, infinite money. money. Yeah. So you just give her gifts, yeah, right? To get so, the points up. Kaya nga video if you guys remember it. Like Emil was there and he was like giving the girl ten CDs <laughs> that boost up charisma or something. <laughs> All these mixtapes, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> dude. If only life worked like that. Mm. Like, it would you just be shower easy. someone with yellow card CDs. <laughs> dude. Like, why oh my god, he, specifically. They're gonna like me so much. We're gonna <laughs> be best place friends. Called oh, Ocean Avenue. But yeah, um, anyway, what did I do this week? Yeah, what did you week? do this week, my so, man? Yeah, I played a game. Um, it's called Yakuza 6. Oh, you've been playing the Yakuza! So, yeah, that kind of came out yeah, out of nowhere. It, it came out of nowhere because we were expecting, like, everyone is expecting April. it to be an mm-hmm. April 17th. Along with God April. of War 4. You think yeah. it has something to do with them accidentally releasing it for free for a while? Could be, but <laughs> yeah, that's a funny story. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they released a demo, which is basically the full game yeah. right. with what? segments. Because right. um, it's easier for them to develop a demo because you just have to lock certain, like most of the parts of the game. Yeah, right. Just There's a the progression locker. Yeah, basically, right. it's okay. much easier to just upload the full game as a demo and lock down the rest of the game right. instead of building an, a, a whole demo. entire build right, just right. for the demo. Just for the right. demo. Mm-hmm. It saves the time. Yeah. But the problem is when they uploaded the demo, they uploaded the wrong thing yeah. and they uploaded without the whole the full game for mm. free. Without the locks. Yeah, without, without the, the locks. locks. No nothing. Right. Like, like the, the users who tried the demo were actually wondering, hmm, it just keeps it's going. like chapter two already. Why, why does it the keep demo? going? Yeah, why does it keep going? And then, okay. And basically, by the time um, Sega caught on, a bunch of people already had it on their systems. And basically, if you were connected to the internet, they would lock down your copy yeah. and like, yeah, yo, 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 like in the actual game. But right. if you were smart enough and took your PS4 offline, right. you, you would just blast through the whole game. Yeah. And yeah. some people did that. Huh. Mm-hmm. You think that affected the release date on Yakuza 6? Probably. That may be it. And... Also, it? basically, it's a it's a, an Asia like it's yeah, region yeah. three. I was about to say like it's it's not the U.S. release. Yeah, it's it's, it's a Southeast Asian, Asian release. Yeah, Southeast Asian release. Oh, cool. And I think um, it also coincides with the with the um, art gallery event that they had like a few weeks ago or a few days ago. There's an art gallery event. Yeah, for because Yakuza? um, when this game launched or when this game got released here, um, it has an art book edition okay where mm. there's a hard like a hardcover book with it that has um you know the the contest they did in facebook where you can sub where users can submit fan art of yakuza okay so yeah. basically they compile the best the best in this art book and put it in the in the book Hmm. So you, you, you guys remember the the one with the Majima collage, right? That yeah, was in the book. that was sick. Nice. Yeah, that was sick. That uh-huh. that was in the book. I was happy that it was in the sick book. Majima art. And like the the regular disc release is like two thousand seven hundred pesos, mm, and, the and then the, the edition with the art 100. book is only like. 2,800. Yes, it's 100. 100 peso difference. 100 bucks for an art book? Right. Yeah. Interesting. Well, not bad, right? Weird. Not bad at all. Why would you yeah. not get that? Who prices it like that? Date of Sega. Sega. <laughs> Sega. Get on that. Get on okay. that, yeah. But yeah, um, the game... How's uh, it been? Yeah. It's uh, it's it's really fun. Like, you know me. Like, I, love, I love my Yakuza. You love the Yakuza. Yeah. yeah. As and, much as uh, I love Joy Bowl. <laughs> yeah. High school music. I guess mm. so, yeah. Kiryu is your Troy Bolton. Mm, not you, bad. you grew up with him. Like it's like he accepts it. He it's accepts like it. Goro is your Troy Bolton in this game. Who? Goro? Majima. Goro Majima. Oh Majima. Okay, oh. okay, okay. That's a good Because I was thinking four arm Goro. No. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> no. Not that one. Because I grew up with that guy. <laughs> you, you, you asked your Troy you aspire to You grew Goro? up with the broken action <laughs> like, figure dude, from Mortal Kombat 1. Why do I have one? only two arms? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> why the, am I different from my hero? optimal <laughs> placement of arms? <laughs> <laughs> why am I different from Man. my hero? I He's a make, dragon I prince. I could make pizza with four arms more easily. Dude, than my real question was like, why did Shiva only have two boobs? It's like, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Shouldn't she have you know four? <laughs> no, the question mm. should be, what the fuck is Kintaro? No, yes, he is a centaur man. He's a cat. He's a tiger. He's, oh wait, you're, you're talking about Botaro. Botaro. I'm thinking about Botaro. Yeah. Kintaro is the four-armed cat thing. Mm-hmm. So, 
That's How did weird. we get on Mortal Kombat? Video Goro. games. It's my fault. Goro, Goro. Goro. Goro is your tribal. I do that fucking love Majima though. Yeah. Um. Graphics wise and systems wise, um, I think. Um. This is the first Yakuza game built for next gen hardware. Really? It is, and I'm kind of disappointed a bit, or probably because of the PS4's limitations. Yeah? Well, the basic PS4's limitations. What's wrong? Like frame skips, textures? Not frame skips, but it is in the 30 frame per second. Yeah. Uh, ah, it's not price. 60. It's not 60. Not 60. Oh, but like, the, doesn't that make it more cinematic? It is. Like, <laughs> I was kidding. No, no. I mean, it's it's more beautiful. I mean, really? It, I mean, it has a lot of textures. Like New engine. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Textures. That's what you meant. Okay, yeah. okay. And uh, like, bef- like for a few minutes, I was kind of um, iffy about it because oh no, like um, I'm I'm seeing the frame skips a bit. Mm-hmm. I'm, right. I'm, I'm seeing the frame shows. Oh, even if it's locked at thirty, they're still frame skipping. Uh, uh, like one of the, I think one of the reasons why the frame rate had to take a hit mm-hmm. is because what it does is it loads the entire map to its fullest. Mm. Meaning, yeah. if you go in buildings, there's no more loading screens. Uh, Everything is active when no, you go in. No when you streaming? go into a fight. There's no more invisible wall. Yeah, you can run around the entire city while engaged. No in culling whatsoever. Yep. Nope. And like, wow. there are cars that drive by, like more yeah. NPCs like walking around. That harder. sounds slightly inefficient for what the PS4 can do. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And like, this is the first game with this engine. Then big long, the okay. entire yeah. camera was rendered. And wow. I was so used to playing Yakuza in 60 frames per second because uh, Yakuza Kiwami. Mm-hmm. And Yakuza Zero was were PS3 yeah, games originally. PS3 games and, and PS4. It's locked. They were just the beasting frames. on the PS4. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So it's kind of a big transition for me to play it in 30 frames, just like in Dark Souls 3, because I was uh, I started playing Dark Souls in the PC. Mm. So oh, Dark where Souls it's 60. 2, so it's 60 frames. Right. Mm-hmm. So then on consoles, it, it's on 30. Yeah, but I but I was happy about it because it was 30 frames, meaning you know you have more time to react it's fine to yeah like it looks fine mm-hmm. so yeah um yakuza it's uh it's it's i could say like it's uh it's still as goofy as it was mm-hmm. on the previous games that i played how old is kiryu supposed to be 40 he doesn't really? look it it doesn't look like well, yeah he looks like shouldn't a he also be older than 40 yeah because <laughs> he was 20 in the 80s also <laughs> oh jeez. One, one thing i appreciate works. One thing I appreciate about the game is that they have this um, summary, like a story summary. Oh, they do that in mode. every game, right? Yeah, so, kahit hindi ko nalaro yung 3, 4, right. 5, it'll tell you, kind of, um, it, it compresses it into a movie. Yeah. You get caught up fast. Yep. Okay. Pretty much. Because I think that's a lot of, like, I think that's the barrier that a lot of people think about when yeah. they're thinking about a Yakuza game. They're like, oh, but I've never played 1, 2, 3, 0. Right. Yeah. And, like, they just think that oh maybe I can't get into six. Actually, but six, you're saying that there's a catch up mechanic. Yeah, and I think mm. I think I can say that six can be your first Yakuza game if you want. Really? To. Like it has all of the stories crumpled into one mm. um, feature right. for you to catch up. So it's fine. Like uh, at least you get the main idea of the plot of Yakuza and curious story. And um, of course, the important part is is the mini games. Mm, and, totally. Um, so far, from what I've played, um, the Sega arcade has, um, if, I guess, one of the classic games that was featured before, like Space Harrier, mm-hmm. um, Outrun. Right. The new ones has Puyo Puyo. Yo. Yeah, and the Virtual Fighter Five. Dude. Huh. And uh, Virtual Fighter Five is the best. Yeah, because what in this game? <laughs> like a full version of VF5. Full version, version of Virtual Fighter Five. Fighter Dude, 5. Basically, that's what Yakuza does. It just puts other, other Sega yeah. games, <laughs> other Sega games, and now, in this game. Not only that, you can Sweet. play it with two players. Really? Yeah, you it's couldn't do that mode before. For Virtual Fighter and Puyo Puyo. What? Right? Because so, like in Yakuza Five, it ran VF2. Mm, yeah, it's the same thing, right? Right. It has two like players. you go into the arcade, then you sit down and then you pay money mm-hmm. and then it runs an arcade like a pure arcade port of vf2 yeah but there's Sweet. no way to play versus on it uh, but now, now, there's, now there's a shit. there's a main menu option to play vf5 Interesting. that's why i'm not too mad that it's priced to eight when i bought it because it's like there's a lot of game in there it's like there's buying two game. games in one for me because i was really waiting for an art book edition as well Dude, yeah, yeah. 
So I was really like, there's a lot of value. I mean, Virtua Fighter Five is half of the reason why I wanted to buy the game in the first mm-hmm. place. There were rumors of it including the online mode as well. For yes. Yes. <laughs> but that didn't imagine, it didn't happen. Right? Yeah, it didn't happen. Imagine if it so, did though. Oh, that would God. be awesome. <laughs> it would be awesome actually. So yeah, other than that, um, there's uh, there's a. a a cat cafe mini game. <laughs> really? What do you do? You Does it work cats? the same as Majima's? I'm not sure because I haven't played the Majima's. Oh wait, you mean the the, the, the cafe? Does it work? Yeah, similar or not? I'm not sure yet because uh, wait, do so you far... run a cafe or are you a customer at the cat okay. cafe? Are so, you a cat? So basically, <laughs> hmm. so basically, it's a it starts off as a quest because you as you do you found a cat cafe without any cats at all what the fuck <laughs> yeah. what a so, failure of a cat yeah, cafe the, the the owner of the cafe kind of um did he lose the cats or did he just not plan this out no uh, he, he, he planned it out <laughs> and he got the cats okay it's, it's, it's just that the cats didn't like him they escaped. Oh, so, no. so one day, the cats plan to escape. The, the, the cats, cats plan, plan yeah. to escape. The fucking jailbreak. Like, there's, like, I don't, there's the cat with don't tattoos of the prison. <laughs> <laughs> fucking prison break. And then cat. in the wall, there's like like drawings of like scratches of how many days this has been. Oh, dude. And it's like cup claw mark. There's oh, a spoon man. that has a big side. There's there. a tattoo of the cat cafe on the back. <laughs> there's a poster of a sexy cat with a hole behind oh, it. No. <laughs> oh, no. There's good. Um, <laughs> man but yeah so basically that's the owner's dilemma and he parang napansin yun si Kiryu um wait 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 there's a cat that sounds like Gordon Freeman okay really? I'm done alright <laughs> what wait what <laughs> sounds like Gordon Freeman Shawshank Redemption oh wait, wait that's did, did I say pull. Gordon Freeman yes yeah. you yes, did, you did. the Half-Life Freeman. Man no 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 oh, no he, he doesn't speak Check the tapes. I mm. meant uh, Morgan. I, Morgan. I meant Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Freeman. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> I was like Gordon Freeman. Holy hell! Emil, what have you been drinking? <laughs> but anyway, Emil's yeah. mysterious mind. Oh, no, dude, uh, two uh, ram sticks. You're on right, right. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. But yeah, uh, so there's only one cat in that cafe, and he got attracted to Kiryu easily. Oh mm-hmm. my god! And that's where the owner said that, sir. I think you had powers <laughs> that makes you attractive to cats. And so... You have you, to hunt down the cats. Yeah, you have to hunt down all the stray cats in wow, the city. Wow, this collectible. And collect them and put them in the cafe. And cool. And, like, the owner has this humanitarian side of him that, you know, he's trying to have the stray cats their moment. It's okay. of, like, you know, store-bought cats mm-hmm. or something like that. So it's his normal uh, idea. So I see. So is it different cats or just like the actual cats from the cafe that you find in the wild? Yeah, I guess. Or are you picking up just strays? No, I think those are the strays. Yeah. But uh, so far... Like the escaped cats. Yeah, the the escaped escaped cats. cats. Like, so so are they unique cats or are they just random cats? Uh, Honestly, I haven't found any cat yet. (laughs) They were playing through. Like, after that, like, he accepted it and then... Okay, You've where am I going to go? never seen a cat. Oh, no. There's a new main quest going on, so I have to go there now. Mm. So, so it's going to be your collectible minigame. Yeah, I so think so. Collect, collect, like, collect the like, feathers in Assassin's like, Creed. Um, like the yeah, grab your cards in oh, Zero like or something that. like but that, those I guess. those weren't really anything. Yeah. Those but, were pure collectibles. Mm, but this one has one. Like, um, before catching a cat, I think you have to bait it with cat food. Ooh. So, so the with cat... eight f- hooks? No, <laughs> you gotta really. scrape like Fuck the alleys. <laughs> but but That's the so cats, sad for the cat. Like dude. the cats correspond to a unique cat food, so you have to mix and match each of the cat foods you use. Interesting. To Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. But I haven't I haven't found a cat, so I haven't. I don't have any judgment on how good. <laughs> so the you've been like is. using up cat food to no avail. Mm-hmm. Oh man. And uh, another mini game that's. Um, uh, interesting. Aside from also, there's the cabaret again. The cabaret made a game from Kiwami. Oh He's, wow! Uh, it's back again, but it's but more, it's by Kiryu. Yeah, it's Kiryu, and uh, it has like a card system that's interesting. Like this is what's good uh, about Yakuza mini game mechanics is that they're really good. Okay. Right. Like yeah. the, the one with the dancing. I mean, it's all about the mini games when it comes to the Yakuza. They're yeah. pretty yeah. solid yeah. mini games. Yeah. 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 They change per game. game. Mm-hmm. So this, <laughs> so be, there's this quest where um, a guy who's addicted to live chat 
Okay. Oh yeah, okay. there's yeah. And, okay, this is where um, the porn stars come in. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and uh, basically, Kiri has no idea what, what live a, chat is. Okay. So, yeah. So the guy said, "What unbelievable! I'll just um like escort you to a PC shop, and we will explore the wonders of live chat." So, um, what happened was he goes to the internet cafe, and mm. then you choose uh, like a model, a one you know. A live chat, so webcam girls, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. Like, yeah. basically. Yeah, and so once you pick a girl, um, of course you guys will chat along with other um, um, NPCs in the chat room. And the sure. mini game is you just press the corresponding buttons, mm-hmm. uh, corresponding button combinations at the allotted time, so like five seconds. So your so your message will be noticeable. Is that it? Yeah. Oh it's, shit! It's like you're the first one to message, so you're the first one to get noticed. <laughs> oh man! So it's like a, is it's, there a tip button? So it's like a bust the group bust mini the game group. where you have to oh, input it before nice. the, Interesting. the time. Interesting. That's my jam. Like things. And the Yakuza people man. know what's up when it comes to mini games. <laughs> man, the the models they choose uh, for this uh, mm-hmm. iteration, um, I have no idea who they are except for one, which is uh, Anri Okita. Huh. So she's one of the popular ones there in the in the game. And uh, yeah, dude, it's kind of pretty borderline softcore. Dude, yeah, I, I find it the... funny how in the older games they would 3D model the porn yeah. stars, yeah. and now it's just actual video. Yeah, it's of just the video ladies. clips. Really? Because, because actual video clips, um, reviewer clips. Because it's emulating live chat, so it's the right, it's just the girls like talking to you, like talking in front of the camera. Interesting. Like, in chat, not a 3D uh, render. No, it's just it's just video. them. Huh. So there are unlockable video clips. Of cool of your I've, of what you. I've have. always found it quite interesting how Yakuza, like the video game, gets away with a lot of shit. No, like like, this? like how close are they with the AV industry <laughs> to be able to Dude, always get these girls? I think it's pretty close because you guys been to TGS and. Yeah. You guys, yeah, like they're just there. That they're just there. They're just there. Yeah, the if they booth. can fucking get real yakuza people to voice over uh. yakuza members <laughs> in this video mm. game. And if you think Anything about it, possible. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. if you think about it, Sega is actually like since they're not in the console market anymore. Like yeah. a lot of people think like Sega is like not that strong, right? Mm. But if you go to Japan, Sega is one of the strongest Dude. because they own so many buildings. They have a building of arcades. Dude, Dude, not just a building, a like lot of buildings. buildings. Yes. Like, like, it, no, no matter what district you're in, as long as it's like, kind of like pumping, mm-hmm. you There's look to the left, Sega. you can find a Sega building. Yeah, like, yeah. like, so I guess that would make sense that they know a lot of people. Yeah, right? that's mm-hmm. true. Then yeah, I think it's you know, a aside... living. <laughs> it's a living. So aside from those ah. mini games that I've played, the other mini games that I haven't explored yet was the like the gang, like the. Gang Turf War mini game. Okay, that's something to look forward to. So, so like San Andreas. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> except that you're gonna. There's no gun, so you have to go brawl. Oh man! And yeah. Is there a big smoke equivalent? I'm not sure, but um, <laughs> you can recruit like celebrity Japanese. Really? People. Can you recruit like, AV idols? You can recruit Okada. Like, you can <gasps> recruit. <laughs> yeah. That's what, what gets Rafi. Yeah, there's a lot of an- new Japan pro He's in this fucking game. Yeah. What the hell? He is. Along with a bunch of AV idols. What? He's, he's basically <laughs> I, I the like Japanese just... John Cena. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Hmm. But anyway, that's something to look forward to. I want to build an army of Okada and just AV idols. <laughs> <laughs> like, Live in the dream. Up, make it rain. <laughs> Anything else you've been up to, Mitch? Uh, I watch a new Netflix show. Ooh. Uh, it's an anime. Ooh, oh and, no! Uh, anime. So yeah, I, I anime started, man. Is, is that now, you're talking, now you're talking like my the, language. Like the Donna smirking. <laughs> <laughs> Donna is smirking in the corner, adjusting yeah. her glasses. <laughs> we all have gra- glasses now, Rafi. Well, we all have glasses we're, we're now. Surrounded. Oh, it's like high school again. Mm. No, for the audio listener, all of us like we right. just got glasses. That's my story. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, <laughs> so fuck damn, off, Emil. Damn no, it! You fucking tell my story. Damn it! We'll get to his week. Yeah, but yeah. So, Rafi's the only one not wearing glasses right spoiler now. Spoiler oh, alert! Spoilers. It's like high school. I don't cheat. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, Just you can get glasses bad. on your muscles. Yeah. The nerds were mm. dominant in your high school. You can get contacts. No, I, I was an outcast even from with the nerds. <laughs> oh man! Oh, no. Were you the buff nerd? He's too buff. <laughs> He's too, he's too he cannot hang. He's too, he's too sports. He's too sports. He's too sports. 
Tapos oh, pag dun sa... He'll protect us. Tapos when I go to the sports kids, he's too nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh you no! I'm, I'm, oh. Not, I'm not even lying. That's how high school was. For oh jeez! Okay, you're the chewy center. Mm. The core. Of the <laughs> so what is okay. this new anime you've so been I watching? So I watched Haiku. Ooh! Ah oh, yeah, you, you did that. say you finished that. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. What is going on? Okay. Like, <laughs> there was an anime conversation that I didn't understand. Miguel is losing it because as soon as he said hi Q, <laughs> Donna made like the biggest like confused smirk face. He like like she made a what? <laughs> like the equivalent of a what? Nani? <laughs> Nani? <laughs> So high Q, the like um um for anyone unfamiliar, it this falls within the category of beautiful boys doing things. No, good. it does. Doing what? Aren't, it isn't. I'm aren't sorry. they beautiful boys? No, admit it. <laughs> They're beautiful. No, I'm sorry, but you're. They're not beautiful. It's the, the, the as Donna just whispered. It's still Fujoshi bait. Okay, that's for I, sure. I, Probably, I mean, it's not as. No, um, I, I'm not saying this to disparage yeah, you. Yeah, but you could also say that Slam Dunk is that kind of anime. Oh too. yeah, totally. Rukawa is fucking Fujoshi bait, mm, and mm-hmm. uh, Kuroko That's no canon. Basket is I also understand. that one. Especially yeah, that one too. especially Kuroko no Basket. So, I'm fine because this is sports anime, baby. This and, is oh, yeah, and my jam. I actually watched a bit of Haikyuu, and it is pretty hype. What's yeah. the sports? Volleyball. volleyball. <laughs> oh, that's what it is? Yeah, yeah man. The orange haired so, kids? Uh, yep, mm-hmm. yep, yep. They play so, volleyball. So basically, the main, like, like, the plot of this anime is that um, Hinata, the protagonist of the story, is short, but he can jump. Like, he, he, he can, can jump really like a jump. motherfucker. Yo. He has hops. Like, mm-hmm. So he's like, he plays so on the front of cool. spikes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, cool. so he's a spiker as a as a volleyball player and that's um, cool i thought he was just small because of anime doesn't know how to scale things <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um he has a as his rival who's that rukawa. rukawa rukawa basically the setter the, the setter the the the, <laughs> yeah. the miraculous setter that can yeah. set up any perfect spike oh my yeah God. except that's that amazing. he's really shitty even yeah to Teamwork. Yep, he's shit. he's just like Rukawa. So. Rukawa oh, yeah. was amazing with teamwork. What the yeah. fuck? Wait, well, at the at the start of it, he didn't get along with his teammates, right? Yeah, but he's amazing when he plays. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't true. ball hog as much. Yeah, I think like the story starts in middle school where they were. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like was the. It's, it's, it's like his first. They were having regionals, game. right? Isn't that a girly name? Yeah, it is. Fucking Naruto's wife. <laughs> Oh, time. you're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. But it's his last name, isn't it? I'm not sure. Uh, does that make it okay? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think that but makes it okay. yeah, so they they basically started as rivals, and once they you know um, that that ended. I remember. Yeah, they end up in the same high school. They ended up in the same high wow. school. Wow. Mm-hmm. And it's just sad that Hinata's goal is to actually beat that guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, but what? It ended not... up being them as teammates. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Basically, mm-hmm. after the regionals Fucking... in middle school, he's like, Mitsui? Right? <laughs> What's his name? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Miyata. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. From, from Ippo. All mm. of these fucking... I'm better than you, but you're my rival. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they so... end up at the same school, so they have to work together. Yep. Like, mm-hmm. cool. Um, it's really cool because the dynamic between those characters, like... Um, I think they had they they first had problems kind of um, having synergy of course because they're rivals like they have their strengths and weaknesses like um, Hinata doesn't really know how to play volleyball that well except that he has he has right. that he system and mm-hmm. the and the what's it the drive to win okay just to further they... my other point of like this is kind of Fujoshi bait okay. <laughs> like right. you cannot in you cannot ignore the BL undertones of what? One BL? guy is the setter and one guy is the spiker. <laughs> you cannot <Yeah>. ignore that. <laughs> uh, you cannot ignore the BL undertones. Right, what like, what does that mean? Because, okay, what? The semi ukenness of it all. Of like what? one guy is on top and the other. One guy survive. pitches, one guy catches. Yeah. That kind of thing. Okay. It's 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 this whole Fujoshi bait thing. Okay. okay. What does BL mean? BL means boys love. love. Bilingual. <laughs> Bilingual. It means boys love. Yeah. Oh, but mm, I would even like. Better. I do admit though that high is 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 less on that. It, it it's it's I mean, it's a lot more wholesome than your usual Fujoshi bait. Wholesome. I, yeah. I, I mean, like. So. It, I mean, it doesn't linger on the weird awkward moments. It focuses on the sports. Mm. Or does it? Because I only yeah, watched like is, two or three episodes. I think or it, does yeah, it? it does. It does focus on the sports. <laughs> in, a, 
Like, just contradict like, yourself what, immediately. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like, You're, are you edging? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, yeah, for the review. <laughs> no, because like, I was trying to give it like slack or leeway, but then I realized they only watched three episodes, so yeah, dude. I wow. don't know what I'm talking about. Oh. So uninformed. <laughs> what a true fan. Oh, dude. <laughs> But yeah, definitely, it's uh, it's more of a like an a sports anime. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It looks like a, sp- uh, like a regular sports anime. Yeah, plus anime. those six spikes, though, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. like, I like the animation. The animation looks solid. Yeah. yeah, dude, it does. Yeah, it's really it does. Uh, smooth, and um, yeah, I think uh, like like the dyna- like the team dynamics. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Kind of interesting. Mm-hmm. So let's see, because I've I'm just watched like five episodes. Okay, and things got into the point where their team is in the practice exhibition match mm-hmm. phase or arc oh, of man. this kind of right. team anime say sports anime mm-hmm. and it's already super intense mm-hmm. oh so, man yeah so far i'm liking it this so. is so weird because like ares on the other hand doesn't like it <laughs> no no Shout no no, no. To Jared. no um um while you're to getting Jared. into high okay. all ares has been talking about this week has been kuroko no basket oh god uh, like he got into dragon the basketball, ball basketball anime <laughs> yes <laughs> And he's saying he he's telling us it is the hypest shit ever, and it we is? should watch it. Uh, well, like, it is. I saw a gif of it. He fucking like like he fucking does a pass to his teammate. He fakes it out and yeah. passes it back, oh, wait and like minute. it weaves in through the opponent's teams. All the while, all the while, the ball is leaving like a cool magical sparkle okay. trail, Street. and they're in space. Okay, Emil. What? dude, <laughs> Emil, you haven't watched Korok on the Basket? No, I have not. Dude, oh my god, I, I saw a I scene. Mean, I I is it it's good? Wait, 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 wait. There's a. I saw like a bit of Korok on the Basket where. <laughs> The dude with the blue hair, Protag Man, mm-hmm. yeah. he disappears. Yeah. The dude, okay. like a Dragon Ball character. He fucking, he fucking so vanishes. Okay. So basically, I this feel... Is, this is my, this is my jam. Yeah, like, okay. more Dragon Ball. Anime. So basically, into, uh, the protagonist, Kurawa, uh doesn't have any title, presence <laughs> in the court. Oh. So he's being ignored because he doesn't have any he's physical m- presence. He's, he's masking ghost. his power level. Yeah, he's a ghost. <laughs> That's oh, why shit. he can pass oh. a ball to That's anyone. He, he can get away from so Frieza, no problem. Is he like the short guy in the <laughs> I group? I the is kind of cringing. The, how power You're forcing the Dragon Ball, yeah, though. Dude, I've but, been watching Dragon Ball. Right, so. so this 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 basketball anime, I really, I'm really 50-50 about it. Actually, oh. because I like Slam Dunk because of okay. its realism. I guess. Kind of, yeah. yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's cool. Slam Dunk yeah. is more of a personal journey. Dude, mm-hmm. this anime has superpowers. Yeah. Seriously, the like, Jeff I saw seemed like superpowers. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The idea yeah. of Croc on a Basket has this middle school team that's basically titled the uh, Genesis, like I don't generations. Know. Like they, they're they're basically the elite or like. A, a generation of miracles. Everybody's Rukawa. So Jesus this, Christ. so this team has is really is super good. Everyone's Rukawa. No. What? Not even. It's beyond Rukawa. Beyond. So, super okay. Saiyan blue. Rukawa. Um, imagine this one guy named uh, Midorima. He's he's the green haired uh, guy. Of course, because there's green in his name. Yeah, yeah. Midorima. Yeah, there's also oh. the glasses and shit. Mm-hmm. So he's a three point shooter. Okay. You know his right. maximum distance. <laughs> What? Full court. Full? Mm-hmm. What, what does stupid. that mean? That's what is stupid, maximum right? distance? That's stupid. That's okay, stupid. That's, that's, stupid. You know what's... That's, that's really... Shot. That's not a specialty. That's, that's a, a Hail shot. Mary, that part. You know what's fuck. really what fuck? fucked up about that? What? He shoots it with proper form. What? At full and he, court? And he even says, I will make this shot. <laughs> and then <laughs> he calls it too. <laughs> Dude. And it goes in. With the proper fucking three-point form, you cannot... Make the court. You have to sling that dude, that's shit. Not Unless even your the, arms are hella jacked, dude. dude. That's not even the ridiculous part. Is he on synthol? <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's not even the ridiculous part. <laughs> There's this scene where he can also catch the ball while he's already in shooting form. What the fuck? So he just jumps and mimics shooting. Like he wait, wait, wait. the ball. He sets it up. He sets it up like in high. In like high he does two. the pose without the ball. And then his his point guard passed the ball on him in mid. 
in mid four. Wait, wait, wait. Just... Is it the, the air? No. What he, the fuck? Is it the air? Is it the air? He catches it in the air. He catches the three point alley oop. He shoots it. How does he catch it like that? Wait, he jumps. Yeah, that's how you catch it. It's how it's it's the point guard. It's that. Holy yeah, shit! Good. Like you, you, you catch it in shooting form. Then. So he oh. jumps you know, fucking in, in the air, air though. That's yeah. the fucking. Yeah, like, he how jumps. The fuck? He jumps. His hands. Like this. His hands are in shooting position. Yeah. yeah. His point guard passed the no, ball. No, the real hero game. here is the point guard. Yeah. yeah because yeah. that pass is immaculate. Yeah. Right. It lands it, perfectly into his shooting really hands. Good, but still, it's fucking ridiculous. Welcome to anime three point shot. Holy shit! Perfect form. Welcome to sports. How is that? How is that balanced though? Do you have to guard him like? His only has weakness is he has uh, kailangan bumelo siya ng matagal. So he has, he has to make oh, his arm perfect. He's fucking Piccolo with his special beam cannon? I guess so. Fuck. Pero, as long as he got the form right, it's it's just Stephen Curry all over it. <laughs> he can't, he cannot miss. Fucking Even charge in that mega court, buster. It's stupid. <laughs> it, it, basta pag nakakita niyo yung GIF or yung clip, may inis kayo. <laughs> wait, wait. Bottom line, is it hype though? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, okay. I kind of left that. But uh, okay. it's ridiculous. I've seen the the knuckle pass. Like, uh, uh, the knuckle like, yeah. pass. There's a Kuroko has a knuckle pass. Yeah, what the like, fuck like, is a knuckle pass? That, he punches uh, the, the ball. He like he lobs like, in, yeah. and then he punches he it. He punches it, and the shock waves that come out. <laughs> that's that's like, not. He true. doesn't even touch the, touch the no, ball. He does doesn't. he? he no, this is the ball. Like he he actually he does this over here. He kind of palm thrust it. Dude, like, is it this? Is yeah. it a palm strike? Yeah. He's a oh, fucking Shaolin shot? warrior. What the <laughs> right? fuck is this? Is this Shaolin basketball? This was, this oh, man. Was, this was an anime made for my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> this is Toy Bolton 101. It's the thing that Slam Dunk was missing. Yeah. The exaggerated yeah. anime portrayals of regular Which movies. That's yeah. true. That, because Slam Dunk was straight up real. Sports, no, no, no. But Slam Dunk? Like it just works Hyping in it. slow time. That's yeah. true. Well, remember, right. like right. when they do a fast break, it's like a million miles away. Dude, that's true. has one week of just one episode of a three point shot. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Three one fucking shot. full episode. Yep, that's yeah. true. <laughs> and like when they're running back on defense, it's like they're six miles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 Oh man, I remember there's this team in Karak on a basket who's basically training in a Shaolin kind of way, and how they run is different. Instead of having your arms and your legs uh, in an opposite direction, uh, uh, they have it perpendicular. Oh my, it what makes the them um, tireless. Were they also carrying milk bottles? No, What's going but on? It's really funny because. I don't think that's how out. physics works. I yeah. Know. yeah. This is some okay. Sanosuke bullshit. Yeah, dude. This, <laughs> like, this is some dual extreme really hyped up <laughs> garbage. Kid, yeah. <laughs> There's this. <laughs> Oh man, this fucking is, dual extreme. I think I, I stopped watching this anime <laughs> when they when they're gonna fight the last generation of miracle because young generation of miracles like Galat, so oh. they ha- they're okay. in different teams. It's like oh, the baby oh, boomers of basketball. Yeah, so like so yeah. each team has one yeah. anime man, and yeah, <laughs> that one guy uh, Midorima with the insane three point shot is one of the generation of miracles. Oh man, okay. so it's really. It's really ridiculous. So, would you recommend we watch Haikyuu and Kuroko no Basket? Yes, it's it's sports anime. It's, it's oh, same man. as Epo. Should I watch Free, though? No. <laughs> I don't think Free I has mean, the sports part I mean, in you it. swim, so... It's you, a sexy you, swimming you Yeah, but they don't do sports extreme swimming movies. Really? Though, they don't? Really? I think uh, they're just I, pretty boring. Like that one scene in Golden Boy where he does a lap? Oh, dude, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Fucking love it's that scene. It's basically dra- uh, it's drafting. Drafting. I mean, what are you talking about? How do you draft? In, right? How do you draft in swimming? I know, but Kintaro got <laughs> fast when he was just tailing over. Oh, behind, I thought right? like they don't do that in free. I don't think they're yeah. just one lane. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> but if someone goes to the other lane, <laughs> <laughs> that's not happening. Shots. That's not happening. Golden, that's <laughs> <just> <laughs> golden <laughs> boy, <laughs> slingshot. Yeah, in game. Game. Boy. Like, no, he was one. motivated oh, by the the badge. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting closer. Good. That's. That's how he gets through life. Yeah. He just... Remember, he study. does odd jobs to get by. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Remember when he made a computer out of cardboard? Mm, and he <laughs> practiced practice programming. Practice yeah. programming. <laughs> that's episode one, man. Dude. Right. Oh, man. Anyway, that's my week, I guess. That's your week. Mm-hmm. So, everyone, watch Haikyuu, watch Kurok in the Basket. Are they watch both on three. Netflix? Uh, yeah. Or is it just Haikyuu? Yeah, both on Netflix. Ooh. Oh, oh also, I just found out, like, now that we're talking about Netflix shit... I just found out that um, season three 
of Shokugeki no Soma. Oh, yeah, that's one. I also, I also oh, watched it. Oh, on Netflix I too? I finished yeah, it. Yeah, Netflix. Wow, right. Don and I just started, so don't spoil anything. Right. Is this the food one? Yes. Yeah. It's hype as uh, fuck. It's the food one drawn really by the good. hentai artist. Like, like what episode right. were you in the season three? Uh, they're figuring out map, okay. like, yeah, map, 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 at first, it makes you feel weird because there are hentai sounds coming <laughs> oh, out of your... Right. Yeah, because the Don't artist watch it with your parents in the room. Yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> nope. like, when they eat something, the hentai turns on. Mm. Yep. But, like, get everybody gets naked. Everyone is suddenly naked and orgasming. And the juices but, are flowing wait, in the what? private place. Yes, yep. yes. As, as in, the food tastes that good. But, but the, the thing with the show is, since um, I took some culinary training... It's doable. Everything is super accurate. Like, they have their research on point, and I'm just impressed at every episode that shares a little bit of food info. It's no. like, oh, this is, this food is like this because this, 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 and this. Oh, um, the technique to this food is this, and this, and this. And I'm just like, they're getting everything super right. Whoever wrote this is a giant food nerd. Right. <laughs> Because mm-hmm. Cooking Master Boy had lies. Dude, yeah. Cooking Master Boy straight up fucking like, laughing bun lies. <laughs> the, oh no, the, fucking, oh the fucking making the golden Dude. rice with only one yolk. That's Dude, impossible. Yeah, that's stupid. That stupid. And the noodles one with yolk. the lye water stretching that yeah. far. And that fucking impossible. And that fucking shit with the fried rice having plums. So you have an appetite to eat an entire vat of fried right, rice. Right. Right. There's some truth in that. Yeah, it's right, yeah. But not a whole vat. Fuck okay. that. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, but okay. There's some yeah, truth see, in I that. See, see. There's some truth in that. Your shoulder does not glow. Dude. Mm. The symbol of <laughs> super <laughs> chef. There's no magic ha- pots that make your abalone perfect. Why? <laughs> as a fucking... <laughs> doesn't exist. Man, you, you can pull a lot from this. Dude, for cooking. as yeah. a fucking show my expert, mm. why do you have... Why is your preferred tool a giant metal rod? Are you shell some uh... dude, dude, he he likes to put the stars yeah, on it. He's dude. basically emperor. His big bang shoe, man. He's basically Shuma. emperor initial D. Oh man, that's rough. <laughs> yeah, All watch right. Shokugeki no Soma, guys. It's amazing. It's yep. it's All right, Shokugeki no Soma. Kuroko. Haikyuu and Kuroko, Kuroko no basket. Kuroko's basket is such a dumbass title. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a basketball. Yeah, it's wow. my basket. It's my ball. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> no one. You won't play. play. You can't play. <laughs> you didn't you win. This is my game. <laughs> so, right. Migoy, what happened in your week? My All man? right. So, spoiler alert. <laughs> Shit, I, I am it. now the four eyes, oh. like most people. You just now. got the glasses today? Today, literally, today. Riddle of the Reach. Oh my god. Riddle of the Reach. Oh my god, what's wrong with me? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> A lot. Alright, so yes. I got my license, my driver's license renewed like two weeks ago ish. Yeah. Because um, that's the year, like, I almost forgot. 2018, fuck, driver's license. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, even though I don't drive a lot, it's still a government ID. Yeah, it's very so convenient to have. It's the easiest one to get, probably. Mm-hmm. Totally. And it's the easiest one to bring around. Right. Because so it's like, a nice little yeah, yeah. car. And um, they don't have the the medical where they do the drug test, so you don't need to pee in a cup anymore. Yeah. Sweet. But you still have to do that. every other medical, like eye check and then like height, weight and height. Weight. Right. Mm-hmm. Um. So like, I just came from work because I'm night shift, so I like... I'll try to get it done today because there's a LTO branch in Robinson's Gallery. Yeah. Okay. Just like two blocks from here. So I go in. I, I'm, I'm just like, I want to get everything done. Mm-hmm. And um, I take the eye exam. And they have that machine now. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The one the, the, that huh. you see the red balloon at yeah, the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or which, a barn sometimes. A barn? I, I'm more familiar with the balloon because yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. most people say uh-huh. when, when they right. do that. Because it used to be just that, like the eye chart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But now they, at least that branch has that machine. You stick your head in the machine, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You mm-hmm. you rest your chin on the thing, then it'll auto-adjust for you. Uh-huh. Then it'll, you know, then you read the eye chart. Mm-hmm. Huh. So, like, mm. you know, I cover one eye, I cover the other. And I was not even trying, to mm-hmm. be honest. <laughs> like, if it's a vague shape, I'll just try to guess instead of actually trying. Right. And then they just said, Sir, malabo na mata niyo. Oh, yeah. oh no. Na na that's that- when you found out? Right. I think that's the same reason why I had glasses. Oh, really? Yeah, a driver's because license? Because of gris- driver's license renewal. Oh, interesting. Yeah, for those who don't know, Mig Samson also got glasses like la- a few, few months ago? A few, few months, months ago. Yeah. I think it started January. January. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
So the council will now have glasses. Yeah, <laughs> basically we all have. We glasses. need to make a health plan. Oh, because <laughs> one of the other ones already has glasses. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Shout out to Mig Lopez in Japan. Yeah, man. Pabili ng Pacific Rim. Ng Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim. The whole Pacific Rim. All of it, dude. Dude. Even the the ship sword. Right. But, like, I've always had trouble reading things at a distance. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, every time I get my eyes checked, they never say I need glasses. Mm -hmm. But now I have, like, full-on huge astigmatism. Okay. Big huge. Right. And, but I'm like, I didn't mind. I kind of got a bit excited. (laughs) I'm gonna look cool It's like most of the, the nerds we know have glasses. There. So you're like, you I just wanted to fit in. <laughs> no, like I wanted to see in HD. Dude, I want to see what the is, people see. That, that's actually true. Right. So like, I, I don't mind. It. And if it's astigmatism, it's corrective. Yeah. How was it for you? Because I remember my first day with glasses. Yeah, like, but you're blind as fuck, though. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, I am you had, blind as You fuck. literally told us you had holes in your eyes. Oh, that was point. like that what? one time. What does that mean? <laughs> no, no. Um, basically, um, this one time, um, because I used to smoke a lot and I wear glasses, apparently the smoke would get trapped between my eye and the glasses. Oh, and like the smoke was, the holes in because the, 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 the way I used to inhale when I smoked was I would do a French inhale. Which means oh. <laughs> my dealer. <laughs> <Ew. laughs> Gross. No. Um. Which means like um. <laughs> no. No. Are you frolicking your smoke? No. You're sexy with your smoke. Wait. Wait. No. Um. Basically, a French inhale is when you inhale the smoke through your nose. Mm. You basically exhale it out of your mouth and back oh, into your nose. That- so so the smoke would get in between my eyeglasses and my eyes right. and since the smoke was hot it was damaging my eyes but the thing is it normally wouldn't damage your eyes and it would look cool no 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 no, no <laughs> normally it wouldn't damage your eyes as long as your tears worked but apparently you have no tears <laughs> oh no but apparently i had faulty tears so <laughs> So good job. My tears didn't work. They weren't protecting my eyes. The smoke was getting into my eyes. Therefore, the smoke caused my eyes to have holes. And yeah. Uh, it's just a series of unfortunate yes. body yes. mysteries. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're calling tears. diseases from now on. Tears in the rain. <laughs> body mysteries. I like it. Okay. Mm. But yeah, how was your first day with glasses? <laughs> Damn it. Do you yeah, inhale right. anything Frenchly? No, yeah, no, 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 no. no. So I was initially planning to get glasses like the weekend after because I think I got my license on a Tuesday. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But um, I consulted a friend of mine who also has astigmatism. Mm-hmm. And then he said like glasses can reach anywhere from like 2000 to 5000 depending on where you go. Yep. Depending and I'm like, frames. fuck, I need to wait for payday. Uh-huh. Yeah, and payday was like yesterday because yes. the 25th is on a Sunday. Uh-huh. And it did come in, so I'm like, I'm gonna get glasses. That part yesterday, but then I ha- I was running on no sleep at the time. Mm. Like I was running on 23 hours that day. Mm-hmm. And then they said that I can't take the I can't use the machine because it's inaccurate. Mm. Which huh. made me think, is that why my LTO failed? Because I was also poyet. <laughs> but then like no, I I can't read the shit in a distance, so. I gotta try to fix this. So you least. need fresh eyes. Is that it? Maybe. maybe. Eye no. transplant? No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I went before I went to PGF to meet you guys. Uh, I wanted to get this out of the way. Yeah. I was planning to do this tomorrow, but as I was passing through the mall anyway, I went there, and they said it could take seven to ten days to get the lenses in, but apparently they had them in stock. Wow, as well great. as the frame I picked. So Lucky. I got great. them in like 40 minutes. Sweet. Cool. I waited for two and hours. fucking double whammy. When they said I needed to come back in 40 minutes, I'll go visit my barber. Mm. And lo and behold, he was free. Oh, 40 minutes, done. Right, so double you, whammy, haircut So you got a glasses. haircut and some glasses. Right. Yeah, so tomorrow I can just play Monster Hunter World. Cool. cool. Awesome. Yeah. So you got everything done. How was, how was experiencing the world as I was actually... Free? thinking of not wearing them today because really? maybe because when they had me wear the big not the man it's not a machine but the thing that swaps yeah. lenses yeah yeah this, the thing right, that right, makes right. you look like a steampunk master right but it's it's <laughs> portable now yeah 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 yeah. Oh. so they just like swap lenses while yeah. i was wearing them yeah totally and, um since my astigmatism is high 
the doctor was putting on some really heavy lenses yeah. and then asked me to walk around yeah. and with the first pair I was like whoa can yeah, you do heavy. it it's like, <laughs> stuff's moving the floor is jelly no no it wasn't that oh, but like not that bad. things were shifting because mm. if I move the lens like it kind of oh, yeah, wiggles yeah, yeah. the environment alright so I thought like because I have to like climb stairs I might mm-hmm. yeah, eat it hard yeah, and break yeah. them on my first day but th- it was fine for the most part like if I look down and my peripherals without the lenses don't hit the lenses yeah right then I get fucked up yeah. with like but the distance that, that's some dumb reason why I chose this kind of frame yeah it's with big. bigger oh yeah. that's smart so that's I don't true. actually right. see the non-lens uh, I thought it's because you look like Harry Potter. <laughs> I want to be a wizard. Nerd. A no wizard, Harry. I actually picked the small frames because... It's cool. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, when I have my phone up to my face or when I'm reading something up close, I put the lenses down because I can't see shit properly close to my face with the lenses. Because my grade is so high that it just fucks it up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you're not really nearsighted. No, um, I can't see shit far away without my glasses. But if it's too near, because my lenses are so high, uh, like right. they fuck up near shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah just, uh, mm-hmm. They fuck up near shit. Oh man, I <sighs> got my frames. Warframes? <laughs> <Huh? laughs> <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing. Dude, dude, you have nothing. You have the gym stories though. <laughs> gym mysteries. Mm-hmm. Oh man. All right. What ah. So so so. When you first got your glasses, like, everything's just... Because, like, getting glasses was an amazing experience for me. <laughs> so you were really that blind? No, because I got glasses when I was in first grade. Damn! Like, my huh? my eyes were fucked. When like, you were born. At the start. The womb, like, I... Dude, back in the day, I just thought that everyone was good at seeing the board. <laughs> Wow. Like, <laughs> wow. Dude, I just thought that every like everybody was I, 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 I'm getting all choked up. But oh, no. no, don't cry. Don't cry. Not, Basically, I thought that seeing the board was a skill. And I just wasn't good at it. Oh, so you're concentrating. No, track. like I was I was practicing looking at the board. I can do it. And I basi- can exercise my eyes. And basically, <laughs> since since my last name's like oh, like near the end, right? Like my last name's a T. You um, get put at the back of the yeah, class. Yeah, I get put at the back of the class. Oh, so wow. I just thought everyone was really good at looking at the board and I just sucked at it. Yeah. Then eventually they checked my eyes and they said, dude, your eyes are fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and then they got me glasses. And basically, that was the first day I was like, yo, this is how people see? I this- can spy. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so effortless. Dude, back when I was a kid, I thought trees were just like lumps of <laughs> brown Dude. blurs. Dude, I just thought they were like lumps of brown with lumps of green on top. <laughs> like when I got glasses, I was like, there's shape. There's each individual leaf. You can see it. You thought this they were is... all Bob Ross paintings? <laughs> <laughs> dude, you're not wrong! It's oh, like, this dude. Is it's like you're stuck in S-ness, then you just... Dude, yeah. You blew on the cartridge and you can see it. When I got glasses, I was just like, wow, I've been doing it wrong. <laughs> were, you, were you playing like Final Fantasy VII? This looks so real. <laughs> You think that's why my favorite Everyone's game is so Xeno smooth. Gears? Oh no! That's why my favorite game is Xeno Gears. <laughs> oh man, it's rough. Mm. The PS One looked like a PS Two to you. It was, was amazing. Well, like before, there, I I could sometimes see the board at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there were days when I just couldn't read it. Oh man! So I thought like maybe I was just not focusing well, or you know, mm. I ate some bad. Oh, but man. like. Um, for at least the past maybe year and a half, I would get dizzy spells randomly. Oh, yeah. That happens when you have astigmatism right. and stuff. Yeah. But I thought there was like, is this the diabetes? Is it, <laughs> no, is it time? No, 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 no man. Because Not like today, <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> I just crush it. <laughs> I stop <him>. Like Superman. <laughs> Flex it out of you. Oh, man. Or, you know, I thought it was something like that. Maybe, you Not know, today, I didn't eat enough <laughs> vegetables and then... It's fucking up or I didn't sleep enough. But 
because astigmatism is basically like the double image bullshit, right? Right. Yeah. right. So I can imagine you'd have dizzy spells for sure. For, yeah, for uh-huh. sure. But like, I wasn't physically dizzy. Mm. It was just that like I would like you know lose balance a bit. Oh, uh, okay. But then I also thought like maybe, maybe the it's water in my ear ears. Thing. Are, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Man. Oh man, you but do anything since else? Since LTO said, you know, sir, kasi malabo na matamo. I think they were expecting a more angry reaction. Oh yeah. But I'm like, all right. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Sure. Cool. Right, I don't mind. <laughs> and they released my license the same day anyway. Because oh. apparently they don't do that for some people. Yeah, they do not. They do not. Yeah, I need to come back. I think. Mm-hmm. Please get your eyes. Yeah, yeah. Because w- when I the eye doctor there at the executive optical, a sponsor of mine. <laughs> EO. She asked like why like first time glasses like at the no, twenty nine years old like, mm-hmm. parang why are you here right now and. Sabi po na LTO, malabo mo ito. And like, uh, for license yeah, purposes. So parang, reason, do you need me to fill out something to get your license back? Then, no, no. No, they gave it they to gave me. They gave it to me the same day. Like, <laughs> they gave said, it oh, to me. Hindi it, ato common yun. <laughs> how irresponsible of our government. Mm, oh, you know what also? Because like, fuck the government. I'm trusting. They, they fucked up my birth date oh, on no. my that's, license. That's bad. Uh-oh. And I paid to have it changed before. Okay. And it wasn't changed. Uh-oh. And uh, apparently, what? you can't do that unless you're at the original yeah. place where you got it, yeah, 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 which yeah. is all the way back in Las Pinas. Wait, so in which their office has moved already. Wait, yeah. they fucked it up again, though. I mean, when I went back there and had it, I paid to have it changed, it's fucked up. Oh. But then it took me uh, two days to get it, so I don't want to get the changes again. Like but now, <laughs> because um, my address currently, because of the name of this fucking building, mm-hmm. is so long yeah. it couldn't fit in their system that someone had to manually enter it uh-huh. mm-hmm. I told them uh, sir send your birthday mo. Tos, I, I wrote it on a piece of paper that I had to fill out uh-huh. and they referenced that instead of the old license so uh-huh. now it's correct oh that's good thank oh, god thank god oh, fuck like having, having a wrong birthday on your license is bad dude like showing your passport and your license and them having different yeah. birthdays yeah dude even that's though it's only a few problems. days off yeah, yeah, they would question it sometimes. That's some fucking papers, please bullshit. You'd never get into our Stotska. Oh, dude, no, <laughs> never. <laughs> dude, you, yung tita ni Denise and yung mom ni Denise both have two birthdays because the government fucked it up. Whoa. Wow. Like, wow. different yung actual date of birth niya dun sa nakalagay dun sa birth certificate. Tas sobrang birth certificate pa? Birth certificate. Jesus. Tas Yo. parang... Can they, like, change it or edit it? They... They should. Birth cert, eh. mahirap eh. Date, Pero mahirap eh. Yun yung, yun yung, yung thing eh. In, like you were can, born on a different day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shit. There's that and like dun sa mama ni Denise was um <laughs> she's registered as a mister. Oh. <laughs> so oh. they really bubbled Whoa. that one up. That's, that's Either, fucked up. That, maybe yeah, your really tita has up. a different past. That's, that's enough reason to actually update the data like the birth certificate. certificate. Yeah. Pero or the, or the actual the process idea. is probably too cumbersome I, to do I, I, yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah that makes it tough for like papers mm-hmm. oh man anything else yeah. happened in your week my man the fucking devil joe came out the other day oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you've yeah. been hunting him uh just the regular version mm, how's um, it been so that far that guy is tough man yeah. There's that's so much HP. How the, angry was the pickle? That's the first time I've faced Excuse Devil Joe. <laughs> oh, uh, basically... He looks like a spiky pickle. Yes, yeah. he looks like an angry, uh, spicy right. pickle that's always uh, hungry. Uh, Migs once said that he f- you found his arms too big. Yeah. They're still really small. Yes. <laughs> like, at certain angles, it looks like he has no arms. Like, he's like a limb ng arm. Yeah. He's fucking tiny. It, his tail is gigantic. Mm-hmm. His tail is, it is most of the pickle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a pickle with legs. Mm-hmm. Damn that 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 dude, dude, dude like that dude it, can jump. His, Jesus, yeah, his jump is so fucking far, <laughs> and I, I, I his tracking it. is insane. Really, yeah. like okay. you, most monsters in world, you can sidestep no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will fucking get on you. <laughs> like usually, if you can see the attack coming, even when you eat an item, yeah. which slows your walk speed, uh-huh. you can still like speed jog away. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. at least get away from like the, yeah. the the proximity of the attack but mm-hmm. no he will fucking track you yeah. huh. it's like nergiganti levels of bullshit yeah his hitbox <laughs> is bigger than his physical body cool 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 and cool what's the jumping what he because jump. usually when a monster jumps but they're still within a certain range yeah mm-hmm. but like i'm a bow user yeah and he jumped way out of my range oh dude this guy has beast legs 
Mm-hmm. Pretty much, imagine, like that's, he's all legs. Yeah, like and you're, is this like the vo- the volleyball guy? Again? Dude, he's like the volleyball yeah, guy. Like, yeah, like um, yeah. I saw this one gif of a turf war where he's fighting a flying monster, and he just jumps and takes down the flying monster. Sweet. Whoa. Yeah, he cool. he like jumps up and gives him a stunner back to the ground <laughs> with his <laughs> tiny arms. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Like, I... <laughs> he just jumps up and like takes down the monster. Get down here! Apparently, there's I... a because there's another parang wow. dog type monster, the Odogaron, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. and he will fight anything, even a uh, an elder dragon. Yeah, yeah, man. He's the only one who spawns with Valhazak. Mm. Mm-hmm. But when he fights the 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 puffy bat, the Paolumu, mm-hmm. like he will track the bat no matter how high he goes. <laughs> But when the attack animation comes in really late and he jumps all the way up, all the way to the sky, Jack, oh, but he brings man. him down. <laughs> Sick. Sick. Oh man. I can't Monster wait for Hunter. them to, re- right. to release in the DLC the setter. The setter? <laughs> the oh, rival man. setter. We he have the jumper. The pickle. Yeah. Oh man. So yeah, um, he's really, he's got a lot of life. And like, his attacks are predictable. Mm-hmm. But like that, the tracking on like the, the five bite that goes into the yeah, overhead yeah, yeah, swing, yeah, the hitbox is huge and like he will act, track you really insane. Mm-hmm. And then in rage mode, he'll just keep doing it. You know, fun fact, the depth, like, like within the lore of Monster Hunter, since oh, I, here we go. I'm <laughs> the first wyvern in you, <laughs> <laughs> All right. the first wyvern, the oh. first wyvern, yeah. yeah. like, like as a fun fact for Devil Joe, Devil Joe is actually blind. Um, he senses huh. everything through his keen sense of smell. Huh. <laughs> like, huh? like, for some reason... Because he's hungry all the yeah, time. Yeah, he's hungry okay. all the time. But for some reason, flash bombs work on him, right? Or yeah. don't they? He has eyes. Yeah, yeah. he has yeah. eyes, but he doesn't use them, oh, though. Oh, she. She? Oh, yeah, she. Correct. Really? That's lore. New lore. New lore. The white variants mm. refer to her as a she. Interesting. It's weird. Maybe it's one variation of a devil. Joke. I doubt it, because otherwise, like it's Black Diablo's levels of yeah, Black uh, completely Diablos. opposite gender with a visual difference. Oh wait, really? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, Black, Black Diablo's is, is a lady. Special. Yeah, Black ah, Diablo's is a ah. normal Diablo's in heat. Huh. Mm-hmm. Oh. So she is sex. Like, she's just yeah, that's thirsty. how she gets yeah. the sex. She yeah, destroys yeah, yeah. the other one thirsty first. Diablos. <laughs> thirsty Diablo's. Mm. Diablo's rose. <laughs> Person. That's a pink rat. Don't, don't talk to Black Diablos. <laughs> don't, don't talk to Black. No, 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 no. That's Diablos Black. No, yeah, yeah. Do <laughs> not make eye contact with Black Diablos. Shake, his, shake her hand. <laughs> shake her hand. <laughs> oh man. Um. Uh. Anything anyone is looking forward to in the coming weeks? Um, anything up, uh, well, my man's Coscon. Yeah, Coscon. happening. Coscon tomorrow. is happening tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the time this comes out, it's, it's probably done. It's a convention for a cause. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can you explain what Coscon is? What? Can you explain what Coscon is to the audience? Please? Oh yeah, it's a it's a convention at Nova Gallery in Generosis on Sunday. It's a it's a non it, it's thrown by an, wait what? Sorry. Um, <laughs> It, uh, all proceeds go to a Charities? non-profit organization called Love Yourself, which um, which does a lot of HIV awareness and, and like charity work, education, uh-huh, and charity uh-huh. work, nice, like yeah. very nice. Oh man, is this the first CauseCon? Yes, I think so. Yeah, I oh, think it is the first nice. CauseCon. It's it's organized by um, um, Captain America. I mean. <laughs> a hero's call. Yes, hero's call. Uh, it, it, it's it's organized by a hero's call, which is a group of cosplayers, geek enthusiasts yep. that do <clears throat> geek stuff for a good cause. Like they'll, they'll do a bunch of donations. They'll get together, <laughs> um, do a shoot for awareness for something. They're a great bunch of people. You should check them out. Yeah. And hopefully, well, well, we can't really advertise CosCon for real, real because by the time this comes out, it'll it's probably done. be done. Hopefully, yeah. there's another one though in the but future. But please yeah. check out like all the great work that uh, a, hero's a hero's call has been Check doing yeah 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 super cool people it's gonna come out this sunday graphic graffiti art page yeah man <laughs> check it out link and in the like, description and like there's gonna be uh what's what's interesting about it is that they'll have not they they don't just have exhibitors there are lots of like fun events like there's gonna be a jamilton thing Yo, like a hamilton where you can oh, sing nice you like open open mic hamilton but what are you gonna sing what? What are you gonna sing? I don't know. I have to watch it. Congrate the show, man! You're talking. No, you're gonna sing "Bed" on it, right? <laughs> oh man! Oh, anything else happening, guys? Yeah, what uh, are we I want to get Yakuza, but I just paid for glasses. So. The Yakuza's. Yeah. 
That kind of came out of nowhere for real. Dude, yeah. Jesus. I am looking forward to bringing my laptop to the shop. Okay. I really want this laptop fixed for you, to be honest. Dude, yeah, dude this sounds really bad. I've been spending 90% of like my laptop time just fixing it. Hey, man. It's hey. rough. And I've troubleshooted it to the point that it has to be a hardware problem. Has Again. To be. It has, has to, be. to be. Again. So, like, I have no idea what's going on there. Uh, anything you're looking forward to, Miguel? Sam? Not much. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We're all kind of low energy at this point because it's been a long day. A flask came end from to our <laughs> cast also. <laughs> came from hey, have some Sento. Dude, have some Sento. <laughs> so we end strong. Have some C4. And that's, that's not... Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the real world in the eyes of people who can actually see. Oh, dude. Maybe it'll help my DBFZ game. I dude, having glasses is the Ooh. best. Maybe I, I can see the mix-ups now. <laughs> dude. Oh, man. Glasses are the best. <laughs> are they? Thanks, <laughs> outro. <laughs> good trades. Dude. Good I, trade. Yeah, man. Um, uh, that was good trades where everyone takes damage. <laughs> That, I damage. Yeah, we punch people with stories. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we're tired. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everyone. This was a, a good trades. Check it out. It was a, great, a good a trades. youtubecom slash good trades brigade. Is that facebookcom yeah, slash? Did you get it? I mean, it's, it's, it's Facebook. But that's yeah, right. yeah, Facebook.com Facebook. Facebook. slash good trades. Because if you're listening to this, you're probably on the YouTube. Yeah. So check out the Facebook page at facebookcom slash good trades. Wait, good trades or good trades brigade? Good trades brigade. Good trades brigade. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Thank plug. you, Del Monte. Thank you, Del Monte. <laughs> Extra thick. UCC synthol. UCC, UCC synthol. Extra thick bread gratin chicken teriyaki. Oh, <laughs> Bring it back. Executive Optical, please. Hello. Bet on it. Dude. Bet e- on it. <laughs> E-O Optical. It's in the game. I thought it meant like I-O <laughs> or something. It's in the Hard I. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I Optical. And like Executive. What? Dude, game. yeah. It's EA Sports. That's fine. Good, Good night. Trades. Good night, everyone. Good trades. We should have like a sign-off. What is our sign-off? Be geek. Be proud. <laughs> what? I don't know. I stole that from someone. Build it, build it beautiful. <laughs> Good trades, everyone. Build it beautiful. You should. There should be a red light on top. Okay, let's sync. Sync, boys. Three, two, one. Sandwiches. Let it rip. Let it rip. (laughs) Tres, dos, uno. Let it rip. (laughs) (laughs) We are back, guys. After some technical difficulties. Wow. Okay, we were on. We were on Bert's cardio adventures. You know, and how much he hates it. Yeah, how much he That's hates the cardio. Yeah. Like the passion. <laughs> <laughs>